Hey there guys, Fear back again with another Twitch VOD for you. Uh, this one was from the 17th of January 2022. I know I'm a bit far behind. I had some issues with stuff. It's fine. It was a Mount Farm Monday. Uh, look, I'm not going to give you spoilers. Stuff happened. It was great. Also, some other stuff happened, which was not so great, but that's fine. We had so many discussions, uh, particularly a really good chunk right at the end there about, like, new streamers and, and ways to network and connect and like grow and like you know what to what to look for and what to aim for and and that it's okay to stream just as a hobby but anyway I hope you enjoy the VOD as much as I enjoyed streaming it. Um, you can catch me live 4 p.m Australian Eastern Standard Time that's Brisbane Australia time on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays over at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma uh, at that page if you do an extra slash and then put schedule you should get my upcoming schedule converted to your time zone which should be like a lot more helpful than some random time zone from halfway across the globe if that is applicable to you i'm gonna shut up now and let you enjoy the vod i do hope you enjoy it and i will see you again very very soon do this there we go hi let's get cracking because i'm sitting on a rare spawn that could get pulled at any moment so <laughs> um i do so there are a bunch of mounts that i afk farm camp whatever when i'm not streaming because their their um their spawn timers are just entirely too long uh to do on stream it would just be boring as fuck and no one would be interested in watching that and it'd be shit um so i do them off stream because I still need them. <laughs> uh, and one of them is Ishak. So, one moment, please. Just to get that off my cursor. Let's get this going. I think I'm sitting on 30 something attempts so far for a shack. Not too bad, but um enough that I'd like it to drop. <laughs> Considering he has a like a three hour roughly spawn time, it's um a little bit awkward. Can be soloed, but like you gotta actually try <laughs> and not get knocked off the platform. Also, well, I've got to try at least. Maybe if people are better geared or something than me. Uh, the first time I tried to solo him, I died. because I didn't, like, actually dodge the mechanics and stuff. Almost at 30%. Once he hits 30%, it kinda speeds up a bit. Take my mirrors. <laughs> 
There we go. No amount. Oh, okay, not 30. 21. That's attempt number 22. That's okay. It could be worse. But yeah, I logged in because um, I was doing some some stuff on my PC earlier, right, like before stream. And I'd, I'd closed off WoW because I needed to do some stuff. Um, and like, even though I was AFK camping, I closed it off. And um, when I logged back in, Rider stream was starting. And I'm like, okay, cool. Start the port to Oroboros. And when I was about halfway through the cast, Ishak. And I'm like, okay, stop. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, okay, so... Hello. Hello. Hello, Zam. All of the hype for Lumia stream being here. <laughs> the fucking bot. Have my nanites boosted. I can keep a strong signal to Skynet. Okay. You got your booster today. Congratulations. Well done on first, Zam. Uh, second for BC. Third for Nano. Mount, 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 mount. Look, I hope so, Dem. I hope so. What do we win for being early? Um, I, I like where's, um, fears, undying, love, and appreciation. Yeah, the, the appreciation part. Yep, absolutely. 100%. Uh, <laughs> I love that panic. Your stream starting kicked me off the head of bubble tea. Oh, no, really? I didn't know it did that, meaty. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it did that. There you go. I've learned something new. Hello, chaos. I miss the rage. What rage? Huh? I'm confused. Does fear swear? Yes, she does. Reload it just in case. Hello, how am I? Yeah, look, I'm alive. I'm alive. The podcast edition of the stream. Huh? Um. I'm calling Blizzard. I know, I know. Well, no, I had to restart my PC a couple times. I'm not sure if you guys saw my post in Discord. I'm having a lot of trouble with a particular video file I'm trying to get rid of. It's 131 gig. And um, so I had a smaller one that was 103 and I moved that to an external hard drive and I still couldn't delete the 131. I thought I didn't have enough space on the hard drive to delete it. But then the 103 that I'd moved over to the 149 gig hard drive, that deleted fine. Like, not, not a worry. So I thought, okay, let's transfer the 131 gig across to the external and then delete it from there, just like I did with the other one. It's been sitting at calculating time remaining 0% complete for nearly two hours now. Z like, 0%. Time remaining, calculating, items remaining, one, 131 gig. So I feel like the file's corrupted or something, uh, which is a problem because it's fucking massive. Like it's huge. Um, I haven't tried opening it because I don't want to break anything, but uh, yeah, I'm having some issues with that. Uh, so I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Um, but if anyone has any uh, advice or tips and tricks or anything like that, I'd be glad to hear them and I will let you know if it's something I've done already because it's just, um, I need the space. I need the space. It's 131 gig for one fucking video, like that's a lot. Um, it's fine, I could go back to it, I didn't realise it would switch to me to you being live either. No, that's so strange. That's so strange. All right, so what I'm doing here, I'm looking for my uh, egg. I'm looking for my lost razorwing egg for the day. I have five in my bags. I think... What the fuck was that? Uh, I think I've turned in... It says... Oh, wait, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's the little... The note's gone. I'm so confused. I've had some weird stuff happening. Oh no, it's that one. It's because it's not a skull. Never mind. So it says three out of ten. So I think I only need seven in my bags. So when I hit when once I hit seven, I'm going to go and turn them all in and see what happens. But I'm today I'll hit six. Uh, so that's nice. Progress, progress. Uh, it sounds like what happened to me when I tried to delete files and people let me because it turns out it was corrupted. I assume did the scan disk. Um, no. A scan disk requires me not being able to use my PC for a while, and I can't afford to do that either. Um, a scan disk is something I'd have to run overnight, and this is an issue that I only realized I had today, uh, unfortunately, but that is definitely something that's on the list to do, yeah. Um, I just hope nothing else is corrupted, because fuck. It's so, it's so strange. Like, I, 
I can't imagine why it would, like, I, it, it would make sense for it to be corrupted. But it also doesn't make sense for it to be corrupted because, like, I've used the file today. So I don't, like, and it was fine. So I don't know what the fuck's going on with it. Uh, I'm assuming you, it's not viable to buy a new hard drive and move everything good off the bad one. It's not a bad hard drive because everything else is working perfectly fine. It's this one individual file. It's not a bad hard drive. This is, this is the disk, this is the hard disk that everything runs off. I have a Windows hard drive, I have a WoW hard drive, and then I have this hard drive. OBS runs from it. Not WoW, but like um, OBS, uh, Chrome, um, my bots, everything that's currently running right this fucking second, except for World of Warcraft and Windows, is running off this disk. So if the disk was fucked, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't be live. Um, so yeah, it is the file, not not anything else. It's not a hardware thing. It's a it's a file thing. Uh, you're raising left this egg. Are you sure you want it? <laughs> yes, very sure, very sure. Can I have another extra one, please? Uh, I'm glad you at least removed some of it over, even though it doesn't fix the issue. Well, I mean, it partially fixes the issue because it was like 234 gig that I needed to delete, and now it's 131 gig that I need to delete. So it is it is partially solved. One of the files was able to transfer and be deleted from the external disk, but it's just, yeah, this, this particular file is being an absolute bitch. Hey, Josh. So yeah, I don't, I do not know what the fuck is going on with it, but yeah, I can run, I'll run a scan disk overnight. Um, but it's certainly not a hard drive issue. Like it's not a hardware issue. Uh, if it were, I would, I, if it was, I'd be having so many more larger problems. <laughs> so many more. Um, thankfully it's not the hard drive. Thankfully. But yeah, look, we will, we will see. Hope you had a lovely day. Yeah, I'm alive. That's, you know, step one. Step one. Can I, can you die, please, and come here and give me your egg? <laughs> Why you no drop egg? Ooh, anyone want to check if Melee's up from that way I had comment? While we're here, because I know Melee is like, pretty high up on the list now. Let me confer with my sources. No. Melee better not, like, fuck, man. If that is predicting whether or not Melee is out, I'm gonna be so fucking angry. So fucking angry. So fucking angry, Shiba. Like, and I'm gonna blame you. It's entirely your fault. You have, you have created this, this universal, like, glitch that has, yeah. Your fault. It's a fun thing. I'm alive. Well, that's always a good start. Yeah, look, I figure as much. I figure as much. No, there is, um, there is something wrong with me, like physically. Something is, something is not right. Uh, I am, I am very unwell and I don't know why. Like, of all the different things that could possibly be wrong, none of them seem to be and yet something is very physically wrong. Like, I am very sick right now. Um, and... I don't know why. I don't like if I, I would like to know what has caused it because if I knew what caused it, I could fucking fix it. Uh, but apparently not. Um, I, I don't want to like, I don't want to overshare because um, I know that like some of the symptoms I'm experiencing will like they're not things that like it's it can be a trigger for people. So I don't really want to like discuss it, but I like the, the physical symptoms I am experiencing, I have not had in literally years. Uh, and so I'm very kind of like, what the fuck body, get your shit together. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not well. I'm, I'm really not well. Um, to the point that I actually considered not streaming today. And you know what that meant, like <laughs> those of you who have been here for a while know that if I've considered not streaming, Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> like, something is very wrong. So I'm, yeah, but I seem to be doing a little bit better than I was, let's say, three hours ago. Um, but I'm still not feeling super great. So basically, RNGesus needs to give me a fucking mount. Please and thank you. Like, the universe owes it to me at this point. 
<laughs> uh, I need to eat again because I am a squishy. Uh, <laughs> blame Sheba for causing glitches in the Matrix. Yes! I hope you feel better soon. Me too. Me too. Is fear sick? Yes, but like especially today apparently. I hope you feel better soon. Me too. Me too. Is fear dying? I fucking hope not. I fucking hope not because I'd miss out on a whole lot of awesome shit that's coming our way. Um, <laughs> I really hope not. But no, if if I do, you you guys know you can trust me with my own fucking health. If something's like legit not good, um, I will I will go take care of it. Like. I, you know, I tell you guys to, to take care of yourselves and be nice to each other. Um, I'd not be a very good human if I didn't listen, like, if I didn't follow my own advice, you know? Um, so, yeah, if, if it got to that point, then, uh, then I would, uh, apologize and shut off the stream. But, no, nah, I, I seem, look, we'll, we'll take it as it comes. One mount attempt at a time, and see how we go. So one foot in death story, if you consider not streaming, right? Right? Like, <laughs> see, this is, I was actually thinking um, earlier about the, these two little words, uh, work ethic. Um, because work ethic is, it's a, it's a big thing. I remember seeing a comment, I think it was a tweet, um, from, from a person saying, um, you know, on the topic of period cramps, at what point do stream it like you know th this person was experiencing really bad cramps and they were uh, they were reaching out to, to other streamers who have that experience and saying at what point do you say i'm not streaming because your period cramps are super bad um like have you ever cancelled a stream because of period cramps and blah 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 and i kind of got to thinking about it myself because it's like what what circumstances under which circumstances do i consider cancelling a stream and i'm like well it's, it's a work ethic. This is my job. And so it's the same as if, you know, if I was going to call out of my regular job, if, if it's bad enough that I would call out of my regular job, then I would also cancel a stream. But if for my, my day job, I would pop some painkillers and take a heat pack or whatever is appropriate for the situation, because obviously a heat pack's not going to help everything. It does help with my cramps, but not for everyone's and all that kind. But anyway, so if if it was, you know, to the extent that I'd just take a heat pack and a few and a pack of painkillers kind of thing um, to work with me, then I would also do that for stream. I'd pop a couple painkillers and I'd heat up the heat pack and I'd have it sitting here on my belly while I stream because it's still, it's my job. And then it kind of got me thinking, like, there are some people who absolutely would call out from their day job for less than and i'm not this is not a judgment this is just it's fact it's a statement of fact there are people who would absolutely call out of their day job for less than but they'd push through it for a stream or they'd call it out for stream but push through it for their day job um and i, I kind of got me thinking like at what point because you know people talk about work ethic and pushing through and getting stuff done and and being you know taking accountability and responsibility and all that kind of stuff but at what point does that become not a good thing anymore because obviously it's good for you know if, if you're being consistent and you're you're pushing through certain things to get shit done and you're you know you're reliable um you know and, and you only call out when you really need to and all that kind of stuff but then it goes further than that to the point that people will show up even when they're at death's door and they're super unwell and it could be something contagious that they could spread to their work like their co-workers and like and that's i mean some people might call that a good work ethic because they're still showing up and they're getting shit done but that's not necessarily like that will put not only will it put you out for longer because you're fucked but it has the potential to also put your co-workers out if it's contagious and stuff like it's and it can also even cause distractions and shit. Like if your coworkers are having to stop what they're doing to take care of you because you've done something like, you know, you've collapsed or something like that because you're not well, then that's going to affect everyone's workload, not just yours. It always kind of like, there's this whole sort of like, at what point does, is it no longer a good work ethic? And it just, it kind of got me thinking, cause I don't know. I don't know what the point is. Um, but yeah, I like, I would consider myself to have a pretty good work ethic. Um, not perfect, because there are some days where I just do not want and so I don't. Um, but yeah, so like even though I am feeling pretty fucking shit today, 
I'm still here. And part of that is because I do get spoons back from streaming. Like, but that's also a mental thing, not a physical thing. Um, and I mean, although obviously your physical well-being can absolutely affect your mental well-being, it's often not a good idea to put your physical well-being at more risk in order to get back some mental well-being. Like, it, do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's such a fucking precarious balance and, and no one is going to know what works except for you. Like, anyone and everyone can give you a million pieces of advice and, and help you, like, you know, make make decision trees and to figure out what... But no one's going to know what the answer is except for you because no one can feel what you're feeling. No one knows what you know. Like, it just... You know, you have this innate knowledge of your own body. So it's kind of... Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. Fun, fun thoughts that run through Fear's head. Uh, I know I'm pretty new here. I'm really enjoying your streams. I'm going to need you to not die. Okay. <laughs> I like it. I like it, Fairy. Thank you. Thank you. Dumb question. Have you seen a GP planning on doing so? No, because this only started happening today. Um, I don't tend to, like, I tend to give it. I, I like because I have such experience <laughs> with my body misbehaving because of the medical history that I have. Uh, I tend to know, like, I can tend to kind of feel like, is this serious? No, it should be okay. I just need to let my body get through it to the point of, no, okay, something's fucking wrong and I need to go now. Like, there's, do you know what I mean? It's like, I, I have a pretty good, um, because of the vast experience I have with my own body breaking itself. Uh, I tend to know when it's serious. And at the moment, like, I feel like death. But there are a handful, like, a good handful of things that it could potentially be. And none of them are, like, go to the doctor levels. So it's kind of, at this point, I'm pretty much like, okay, we'll get through stream. If I can get through stream, I'll be fine. Like, if I can, if I can sit here for six hours and not have a recurrence of, of symptoms... Like, because the symptoms have st have stopped, I just feel, I'm still feeling the after effects, if that makes sense. Um, but, um, okay, what I, it is, yeah, anyway, so I've, I'm still feeling the after effects, but, like, if it recurs, then something's more is wrong. But if it doesn't, then I'll be fine. So if I can get through till bedtime without it recurring, then I'll be fine. Uh, I just need to kind of let my body kind of fix itself. Um, which includes water, which I have lots of hydrating, so I will do that in just a second. I need to not die here, and then and then I'll drink some water. But yeah, no, I am... Um... Yeah. Not just, like, I mean... It's also definitely changed. Like, my, my threshold of go to doctor has certainly changed since the pandemic hit. Um, because I know that there's a whole lot more, um, kind of, uh, you know, the, if I leave the house, there's, there's a chance that I'm going to encounter someone who has COVID, especially at a doctor's office, because people will be going there instead of going to get tested, because they're idiots, and, like, just all that, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not, y yeah, I mean, I, I could potentially get a telehealth appointment, but I do not want to think about how difficult it would be to get one of those at this, like, at this point. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think the safer bet for me now is just to kind of give it 12 hours and see how I am. Um. But it's definitely, definitely not a dumb question. Not at all. Um. It's, uh, you know, I, I always advise, like, when you're not feeling well, to go get yourself checked out and get yourself a diagnosis and stuff like that. Um, but it is absolutely, at the same time, a case of, is it safe for me to do so? And right now, I'm really not sure, unfortunately. Ah, uh, Fieldbusin, thank you, Chaos. It's probably your body trying to get used to the blood to bubble tea infusion. You ingested in your evil scientist lair that you have hidden in your place. Yep. Because my apartment is definitely big enough to have an evil scientist lair that isn't just, like, under my desk. <laughs> Pull the lever, Jess. It's alive. Hey, Yori, how you doing? Wrong lever. Why do we even have that lever? 
Anyway, uh, if you feel you can stream work, that's good enough excuse. I mean, I had to close my business the last few days because we lost our dog and I mentally couldn't function. Oh, for abs absolutely, 100%. Like, you know, and that's why I'm saying, like, you know you better than anyone else will. Um, and you'll, you'll know what your capabilities are. And if you're not capable, then you're not capable. And there's like, you are far better off taking the time off to deal with whatever's going on, be it mental, physical, emotional, whatever. You're far better off taking the time off to deal with it, um, as, you know, as blunt as deal with it is as a phrase, uh, and then come back sooner rather than trying to push through and your business suffering for it and, and then having that drag out and not, not being able to recover for longer and just the whole, yeah, you're just like, oh, fuck. Losing profits from a couple days is so much better than reduced profits for months. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know if anyone advised regarding Bailey. It was up today. Hidden ledge 5020. I'm on the wrong window. 5023. 5023. Ah, shit. Uh, way. Ah, oh, because I'd put a comma in instead of a fucking space. I'm an umpty. I always forget how the coordinates work for TomTom. Tom. Always. Thank you so much for that, Yuri. That's amazing. In fact, that's really close to where we are now. So what we're gonna do... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. That was exactly what I needed. Um... <laughs> oh, brilliant. Love that. So I have six in my bags. I'm gonna wait until I get seven uh, and then, and then we'll do the thing. Hello, Maylee. Oh shit. Is she actually returning to keep his respite? I thought that was meant to be. Have I ever told you that I appreciate you, Yuri? Because if it happens, I appreciate you. Every time I see Popo, I think it says poop. Every time. Every time. Welcome to the wheels. Now go have some fun. <laughs> Yay! Ah, oh, what is that? Six thirty-one. Oh shit! What do I do? There we go. I always do that accidentally. 6.31. Bam. Perfect. Um. Yeah, last reference got. Yay! Also had a COVID test today. Oh no! Waiting on those results. Good on you for getting a test. Well done. Fingers crossed it is. <laughs> okay, so my brain wanted to say fingers crossed it's a positive result. As in like, happy and good and what you want. But also positive is not what you want. You want a negative. <laughs> Good job, brain. We love you very much. I hope it is the result you are looking for. Um, Katoshi was up, didn't know location. Yes, got that dear months ago. Fantastic. Well done. Yeah, there's a comment on Wowhead that gets updated like every day. It's phenomenal. So good. It looks nice. Lots of blue going on today. There is a lot of blue going on, isn't there? No one's guessed yet. No one's tried. Well, I mean, I'm three minutes behind, so no one has attempted to guess just yet. Taking the washing out with the headphones on was like, oh, I can do that if no one else has. Yay! Oh, you're amazing. Amazing back to keep his name. Yep, go back to the rest of it. Did that. Shimmer Mist Runner. Okay. I did that. Shimmer Mist Runner. Look at how fuck. I love the blue into the purple. That transition is just fucking gorgeous. Beautiful mount. <clears throat> Oh, because you talked to enough. Yes, man, get- I help you do! You did help, Yuri. I think chaos, I was gonna choose melee. Ah, <laughs> oh, I guess it's all over it. We can do melee. You can do melee? Alright. We can- we can do melee. <laughs> Showing off. Alright. We can do- we could do both and it could just randomize. But no, it's okay. Well, uh, there we go. 
Um, what is it the English language? I know, right? Isn't it magical? Hey, Bernie. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, can I change your middle? You can. You can and I have. I mean, if I had something that felt like my intestines were being wiggly, I would stay home. I also had gone to work with diarrhea gas pains. I really, can we get a full screen look see? Do you own it? Does it fly? Uh... Yes. Found it. I found the button. Yes. I own it and it flies. I've got blue. There's like a lighter blue in, in, in the crease up here next to my eyelids. And uh, next to my eyelids. Next to my eyebrows. And then there's like a dark blue in the corner. Like around here and stuff. And then like gold. Goldy bronzy sort of on the on my lid. It's very shiny and very pretty and I like it a lot. Just saying. I like it a lot. But yes, I own it and it flies. Go back. There we go. Um, my body being a butt, but want to make certain, of course. Absolutely. Uh, I love the horse mounts. They're very pretty. They are. They're gorgeous. Just probably in looking for inspiration to return to the game. Ah, oh, fantastic. Not a worry at all. Well, we're happy to have you and I hope you enjoy your time here with us. Hope you're well. Yeah, look, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit off physically today, but... You know, it happens occasionally. Um, uh, no, no, like, cold or flu symptoms, except for the ones I always have. Um, I'm, I'm like, permanently. I have an autoimmune condition, so I'm, like, always um, sniffling. My, my sinuses hate me. Severely hate me. Um, <laughs> but, um, no, I've got some, some rather interesting physical symptoms at the moment that I can't quite pinpoint where they come from. So I'm a little kind of off, but that's okay. We're going to have some fun. We got our first mount of the day, 631 mounts and counting. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Can't be mad at that. Well, you can be, but it's kind of difficult to do so. Uh, right, I need to switch. Na, 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 na. I'm going to go do Nary Shop then. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Aerial unit R21X. No. So much blue shirt and headset and makeup. Yeah, it's like, I'm just loving how everything sort of works together. It's great. I'm happy with it. Um, it's Skyscraper. No. Sky Golem. No. Is Fear Sick? Yes. Hearthsteed. No. Uh, the boss of the restaurant came in when they had lost, I think, their grandfather. That is dedication, but also without him, there is not opening. Yeah, so, I mean, there are also some people out there who, when something like that happens, the best thing for them to do is to work or to, to do something that involve that has that they have to concentrate on a hundred percent. And hi. Thank you, ginger and lemon kombucha. Yeah, it's not ginger beer. It's, it's not ginger beer, but it's fucking close enough. Thank yeah. you. They didn't have ginger beer. No, I figured as much. I also almost lost my um ba -ba -ba getting into the service So I'm pulling into what? the service station, right? And there's Big fucking ute stops right in the driveway. This is Jas, by the way, hey for guys. those of you who are new here. Anyway, this big ass ute stops in the driveway. Completely yeah. blocks it. We're heading to the service station. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And I'm halfway into the driveway. With my ass hanging out into an 80 zone road. Oh, good. And so someone kind of almost clipped you from behind because oh, yeah. there's nowhere for them to go. There's yeah. Nowhere at all for them to go. Fucking Jesus. <sighs> Ooh, there's the floaty. Do you want to see? Look, the Scooby's in there. I mean, not that bit, oh, yeah. but like, no, 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 no. There's like the big one. Where is it? Come we on. could make more booch. We could make more booch, but I don't have anywhere in the, there. Oh. Really big chunky one. Um, there's nowhere in the house where I would put it and then trust drinking it 30 days later. Fridge? No, because you have to have it in like a, clo a closed room temperature cupboard so it can ferment. It can't ferment if it's cold. All right, I've just stabbed myself in the palm. Could you open that for me? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. It's totally have, a good idea for me to um, do. I have, can you see, like the little puncture wounds in the, yep, yeah, because my, it's because my nails are like, point, and I'm missing half my nail polish, but it's fine. Um, you go have drink. Thank. Appreciate you. But how was work? Pretty good. Congratulations, Fairy Draz, Vu, Yuri, and Zombie on all of your bonus shit. Good, I'm glad. Is it a mechano straight up? No. Okay. I had a guess. <laughs> um, there's enough, like, yeah, look, here we go. Uh, alright, so where was I up to? Right, that one. Um, Azure Drake, yes. <laughs> that was easy. 
They've been a little wad than Stockport, Legion, BFA, and Shadowlands never really played them. I miss playing them. Look, it is a lot of fun. It kind of, like, we do have a lot of people who come in and say, like, should I resubscribe? And it's like, well, that's an entirely a you question. What did you do back when you were playing that you enjoyed doing? Like, what was your favorite parts of the game? Because we can definitely give you some sort of advice around whether or not that's a huge part of the game still. Because um, the game has changed, obviously. The game changes every so often. And um, sometimes certain parts of it are kind of phased out or less of an Im like less of a thing is put on it. Emphasis, there's the word. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Um, why don't you take a moment to think about that, peoples? What was I going to put on the lamp? Cumin. Cumin and coconut yogurt with cucumber and make like a tzatziki. I'm not sure if we have any cumin. Really? I could have sworn we had cumin. We have like fucking seven jars of fucking cinnamon. Yes. yes <laughs> I like cinnamon. And I would occasionally think I didn't have any left and buy one and then we had more. Yep. Um, there might be some right in the very back of it. If like failing that, there's a, I know there's a bunch of like spice mixes. I like, uh, there's a steak seasoning which might go okay, but I think there might be a Moroccan seasoning that would go like fucking bomb. Cause that's what, that's cumin basically. Cumin with some other shit. So yeah, just have a look through and if there, if there's no cumin, have a look at the mixes and see, like, check the label to see what's in them. Did he hear any of that? We'll find out later. Um, where... No more quests completed. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but that was Jazz from the kitchen going, oh, we have cumin. <laughs> Oh, fuck. No, you won't. I'll puke on you. He won't tickle me. You're right, I have cumin. Brilliant. Why are you bringing it in here? I don't oh, have it. Didn't. Tickle, tickle. No, no tickle. But it'll be fun. No, it won't be. Well, <laughs> no, it won't be. Um, it'll be fun for me and funny for stream. Until you get vomited on and then I'll get banned because I'm puking on stream. And then I'll, like... Definitely not harm you physically. Um, X says hi, Jess. Dano <laughs> says hey. Hey, Jess slash Kronk. <laughs> there was a. <laughs> At least he got the reference, right? Um, yeah, we had some comments before. Pull the lever, wrong lever. I'm like, why do we even have that lever? Everyone's. Like, yep, it was great. I'm good. Good afternoon, how are you going? Uh, I'm alive. Thank you for asking, Dunno. I hope you're doing well. Drink more of that. I will when I stop talking, when I scrolly scrolly. How's the finky, Jess? It's a finky. You can't see anything. You see like a little bit, but it's still blurry because it's focusing on me. No, no, no. You need it close, but you need it like in front of my face. Hello. Okay, not that close. It can't. Okay, it's... Go. Finky. There you go. Yeah, it's gnarly. It's gnarly. Um. 74. Brilliant. Um, hello, Jack. How you going? Uh, this one, this one. So this nail's now after a few weeks coming off. So there's gaps near the arm edge of the nail. I'm near your cuticle. I'm guessing is what you mean. Cuticle? Free edge. Cubicle. Not cubicle. Cuticle. Cubicle. <laughs> Uh, I seriously heard that as human, not cumin. Oh no. I have a jar oh, of human no. guys as well. I loved community and the social side, like grinding rare things and rating on an alright level is never a top end player, just average, but I loved it. Oh, Bernie, that's what we do here. We collect. We collect and we level and we. There's a web, the website. I mean, there is a website, it's called Data for Azeroth, but there's also an add on called All the Things, and we. Look. My brain's. Look, it's fine. Um, but it basically, you're leaning on the back of my chair. Thank you. Um, no. I can, like, I can, it's tipping me backwards. Um, it does this. So it, it tells you, like, how many things you have in, in a, like, left to collect, like, appearances and shit. <laughs> it's, it's great. Your issue was that you, I was tipping you backwards. Yeah, and you are tipping me backwards just by leaning on that. No, I'm tipping you forwards. No, I'm you're not. pushing forwards. Yeah, but you're still leaning on it, and so it's pulling my chair towards you. How about that? Just 
please stop moving me around. <laughs> My oh, stomach right. is really... you're not very good. No, no. I'm not well. <laughs> Maybe I'll put like... some ginger in the dinner too. <laughs> no, that'd taste weird with everything else. Like, I, I appreciate you hanging not around. Not if I like, mix it with the vegetables. And... Honey soy ginger marinade. This sounds like a lot of extra effort on top of the tzatziki. I could yeah, put no, ginger just, in the tzatziki. No, no, it won't work. I have Don't ginger do that. powder. No, 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 no. Like it, it'll fuck the flavor. Don't do that. Um. Um. Tickle. Toss. Yep. Definitely harm you physically. Winks with the eye, not facing camera. Yep. Correct. If it's still attached, that's good. Dude, wash your hands. Yeah, he's just got home from work. Um, I feel like Jas is picking our noses. No, that that's weird. No, sticky, no. Sticky. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Gross, but also cool. Yeah, there's like a like. It it almost looks like a blister, but it's not a blister. Like it's full of flesh. It's the weirdest thing. It's like, a flesh so, blister. It's so strange, and I'm really concerned about it. And I feel like while it's healing, it's going to turn into like a blister, and it won't heal completely until that ruptures. But look, we'll see. Just like I mean, I, I, it's taking my entire self control to not lance it for him because I just. Eh. Yeah. My finger already been poked enough times because it's fucking injury. I know, I know, but like, it also doesn't look like because it it healed. Print, like the first few. No, 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 no. That was a jazz log. I'm not sure if you heard that. Um, <laughs> the fuck was that? Other oh, jazz log. No. <laughs> Jerry log. <laughs> Jerry log. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh fuck. Um, but no, because it healed really quickly for a little bit, and then it just kind of hasn't healed much from then on. It's kind of a bit. I don't know. Something just. Man, I'm concerned. Yes, body has managed to seal the hole. The body yeah. no longer needs to fix hole quite as quickly. Yeah, I know, but it's still. It's got other shit to do, like work on all of the muscles. That it's like. Yeah, fair. You need to take like a really hot shower, which sucks in this temperature. But... Yeah, no shit. Mm. Uh... You like it? Yeah, near the cuticle. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No, I am um, because I use a peel-off base coat. So, um, and I used a, a, not a new top coat, but one I inherited from a friend. And it's the first time I used it. And, um, yeah, it turns out it makes hands. them pop up. Like, it turns into, like, a shell. Nice. Like, I'll show you. Um, do yeah, we do need cucumber if we're going to do tzatziki. You've got cumin. So, like, with the way that this works, right, I can just... Like it turns it into a shell, <laughs> like it's and it's actually like that's like the bit of the finger that I pulled off. Yeah, let me kind of. That's not gonna do it. You don't need an ASMR. Well, yeah, but it's crunchy. That's the whole trying to <laughs> like I'm trying to you know it's yep yeah, it's crunchy. But uh yeah, so it turned into like a shell <laughs> with the with the top coat I used. So now they're they're all kind of popping off every time I do something involving my nails and my nails get bonked and they bend a little bit. The, ne the polish just kind of pop, and it comes straight off, so it's like, oh, okay. Well, okay, I've learned. I've learned that that, that top shirt, that top coat is probably not the best for um, peel off bases. That's okay, you learn, you, you live and you learn. Um, sharing is scary, honestly, Shadow Lines is probably the best. X-Pack for casual collecting since Mop, agreed. It's been so freaking good. There is so, there are so many collectibles in Shadowlands. So fucking many, holy shit. Like, the amount of mounts they added in 9.2. What did you say, Jack? It was the same, like, they added more mounts in 9.2 than there were in Vanilla, BC, and Wrath to get, like, all together. Th th it was 83 new mounts in 9.2. 83. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Like, that's fine. So, yeah, no, Shadowlands has been phenomenal for collecting. And, and am I collecting any of it? Nope. I'm going back to previous expansions because I'm a numpty. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, we have addictions to ATG. A little bit. Just a little bit. Arguably better than Mop. With that for 9.2. Yeah, 9.2 is incredible. Orthia is just amazing. Holy cow. 
Oh, one of us probably was sick. No, Meg, fear, motion sick. Oh, it just, like, it was the little tilt. I could feel that I was tilting, and it just kind of made... Oh, something, yeah. Something's not quite right. Um, you can choose to show only specific categories. You can. Is ATC good for only interesting battle pets? Yes! Yep. Um, you can also... So ATT is all in-game. There's no external thing for it. Um, if you're looking at external stuff, I'd look at data for Azeroth. Um, but they, they both do similar things in different ways, but one of them is only on the online and the other one is only in game. So I use them in conjunction with each other. And I find that that works really well, especially for battle pets. One of the beautiful things with ATT is the randomizer function. Um, so you can, if you type ATT random, slash ATT random, sorry, um, change search filter, pet, and then you can, and it'll tell you to go get one. Or that one, or that one, or that one or that one, etc, etc. Like, it's just, so if you're having trouble, like, where the fuck do I start? ATT random. It, it like, it has really helped me with, like, because I'm bad with decision making. I can narrow it down, or I can create a system where I'm like, this is the order in which I go, and then I let that system determine for me what's next. But if I actually have to make a choice myself, no, nah, it's not gonna happen. I'll narrow it down and stick up a poll. Um, but using that randomizer function has really helped me with that. Like it's, cause it makes the decision for me. I don't have to think, it's great. Oh, I don't want those dirty unwashed fingers in our nose. Who knows where the finger has been? All sorts of places. All sorts of places. That was a just chihuahua. <laughs> Oh fuck, that's amazing. I love that. Body is trapped weird shit under skin. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's interesting. It's gonna scar. It's 100% gonna scar. You can already see around the side of the, the flesh bubble. Um, there's like a purple line that looks just like a scar. So it's gonna calm down and the, the purple will fade and it'll just become a regular scar. To add to the hundreds of others he's already got on his hands. Uh, <laughs> he's got probably actually hundreds of just little scars all over his hands from, you know, shenanigans. I just, again, the peel-off base coat lasts a regular amount, about a day on my nails. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, there's there are tricks to do it. Um, There are tricks uh, to, to do, like, to have it last longer and stuff like that. Like, this is, um, when did I do this? Thursday. No, did I do this on Thursday or Friday? I don't remember. One of the two. Um, and, but I've done a lot of stuff with my hands over the weekend. Like I've done a lot of like tons of washing. I stripped the bed, washed the pillows. Like I did a lot of that kind of stuff, which I wouldn't normally do. And so, and, and like having to force, um, pillow, cause I put like two pillows at one time into the washing machine, but because they're fluffy, they wouldn't go in properly and all this kind of like, so I, I did some hard work with my hands, which made them last not as long. Um, plus the weird top coat has definitely made them just pop off super, super easy. Um, but that's okay. Um, at least I know that the top coat is going to not be working for, for peel off bases. Uh, I need like a softer top coat, if that makes any sort of sense. So they don't just pop off. So they kind of lift at the edges, but I can stick them back down a bit rather than having them just go pop and then they're no longer on. <clears throat> Um, saw a TikTok yesterday of words being pronounced how they are spelled and she who are who are is forever in my mind. That's amazing. That's, that's great. I love that. That's great. Not going to spoil it. Your raid is going to be fun. Thank you very much for not spoiling. We do not do spoilers here. This is a no spoilers zone. Um, that includes any leaks you may have seen. No fucking talking about it. We don't know if they're correct. We don't know if they're shit. We don't care. No spoilers. Zero spoilers. Please and thank you. Um. Yeah, that's why you're, uh, yep. Um... Ah, yeah, I see Jess has let you know. Perfect. Thank you, Zarin. Yeah, zero, zero discussions. Please and care, thank you. Uh, it's going to be 90 from 9-1 to 9-2 when 90 comes out. Oh, Jesus. Far out. 
Uh, spoiler free chat guys, yep, do not reference the leaks or the new expansion or anything in the new patch. Correct, there are spaces in Discord for you to discuss that though. There are very specifically, like, if you want to talk about that shit, if you're like, oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm gonna fucking burst. There are places in Discord for you to do that. Burst away in the story spoilers channel. I've got it muted, I won't see it. There are definitely fucking mods in there though, so don't, you know, don't think you're gonna get away with shit. Um, but... There are spaces, I have created spaces for you to talk about this shit, even though I don't want to see it. So please, if you are interested in discussing anything relating to 9-2, 9-2, I think, is it 9-3? No, it's 9-2. Um, anything related to 9-2, anything related to leaks you've seen, all that kind of shit can go in story spoilers in Discord. There's this text channel called Story Spoilers, and you are welcome to post all of that stuff in there very welcome to do so. Um, I know that Wowhead has started posting articles about leaks and stuff like that, so if you are someone who doesn't want spoilers, um, it's probably a good idea to mute the Wowhead channel in Discord. I did that yonks ago because this is something that they do every release cycle. Um, but yeah, if that's something that you want to avoid, I highly recommend muting that channel and also muting the story spoilers channel as well. Um, the spoilers channel, not there is story spoilers, and then there is spoilers. So story spoilers is for all the storyline related stuff, characters, stories, what's going on, all the all that kind of shit. Spoilers, just just the word spoilers, is for mechanics and shit. So if you can talk about like changes to Death Knights, or or, or, or the new legendary that they're bringing in for Venthyr, that kind of stuff can go in spoilers because I know that there are actually people. I know there's not many, but there are some who don't like any information about new content. They like to go in completely and totally with, with no pre anything. They just nothing. They just want to go in completely. That's it. Um, but um, so that's a space that they can mute for them. Um, but yeah, story spoilers, anything to do with new characters and shit goes into story spoilers. Please and thanks. I appreciate your cooperation. Don't be that dick who spoils shit for people. It's not nice. Um, it is also actually in the channel rules, FYI. Uh, rule number one is no spoilers. So just as a, in case it's been a while, in case you've been here for ages and you, you haven't read the rules in a while, the first rule is no spoilers. That in, and it specifically mentions this includes leaks you may have seen. So yeah, just, and that hasn't changed. That hasn't changed for literally years. So <laughs> just, yeah, keep that in mind. Um, Hey, Evie. I'm sure it's very handy now you know, so we've been always will be spoiler free. Indeed, indeed. Uh, I didn't think I did a lot with my hands, mostly pick scratch very fast my body, with my hands, bathroom sink leaks. Oh no! Oh no, no mentioning or looking at any Bell's new wow videos because he was right about none of them. Did you know leveling monks, you get a boost to rest of XP each day and like 20% XP? Yeah! It's pretty cool, hey? How many more of these do I need? Two more. It's been really difficult to find. Maybe it's because I've been talking too much. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Oh, Axiom, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Thank you for your generosity. Um, burst away in the appropriate places. Yeah, I know. Look, it's it's not exactly a, a nice phrasing, but uh, <laughs> it works for the it works for the circumstance. Uh, please also preface spoilers with something saying what the spoilers are if you do post them. Uh, yeah, there are. You can use spoiler tags in Discord. Um, so you could, you know, for example, you know, put in put in like you know spoiler relating to Batman, and then put spoiler stuff, and then yeah, you know, so you could put spoiler relating to 10.0 leaks, spoiler relating to 9.2 storyline, and then put your stuff relating to it in spoiler tags so that people can actually like you know decide whether or not they want to read that specific thing. Um, just look, be, be considerate. See you later. Be considerate is kind of what we try to do here. We do our best. Um, and in terms of this, it's, it's really not that hard. It's great. Hey, Ed Dupe. Hello, welcome in. But yeah, it's a, um, I just, I fucking hate spoilers. I fucking hate spoilers. Um, Batman's world. I know, right? 
the year rules got accidentally deleted. I don't see them. Not denying they exist. Just wanted to make you aware that they've either gone bye-bye or two, I'm looking in the wrong place. You only ever see them when you jump into chat for the very first time and you click, I agree. It's poor design on Twitch's part, 100%. It's, it's very poor design. I honestly feel like they should pop up every couple of months, just like as a reminder, like, hey, by the way, this is, this is what you agreed to in this channel and stuff. But um, yeah, it, they don't. Um, they definitely exist, they are there, but they only ever pop up the very first time you jump in, and it specifically makes you agree to them before you can type. There is, I don't believe there is a way to bring it back up again. Um, if you ever do want to check out Rules for Channel, view the channel in incognito mode. Right, of course, because it won't remember that you've been there before. That makes sense. Inclusion rules in the about fear section. Possibly, yeah. Not that anyone ever reads those fucking panels anyway. <laughs> the number of times I've had people come in and like, like literally months into watching ask me a question that's literally in the panel underneath. No one reads that shit. Mm, check command for the rules. Yeah. Do we though? Because literally nowhere else I've ever been has a chat command for rules. None of the streams I've ever been in has a chat command for them. Why do we need them? Because we're talking about them right now? Because people have, you know, forgotten that posting about spoilers is a dick move? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, what, why, why do we need them? Because I feel like even if we post them, people are still going to say, like, if, the, if someone's going to come in and post spoilers, they're going to do it regardless of whether or not it's in the rules. They're going to do it because they're dicks. You know what I mean? I don't, like... Um, we don't read titles. Why would they read below the stream? Correct. Yep. Read all the stuff in the panels. Yeah, but like 3% of Twitch does that. This is the issue. Actually read stuff around here. <laughs> yeah, like it's... We can, we can post them in Discord, I can put them in a pinned tweet, I can put them in my Instagram description, I can put them underneath the stream, we can make a chat command, I can put exclamation rules in my fucking title, stream title, we are still going to have people who don't, read, who don't read them. There are going to be people who come in here for the very first time and go, oh rules, click, let's go through. Like they just don't give a shit. And like, no matter where, how many times I put them in different places, like... It's like the it's like the voice redemption. It's like the voice command the, the the voice redemption for the microphone. It literally says there in the thing before you do the thing. Please type this in chat so you can see the options. Ninety percent of people who make that redemption put exclamation voice as the text in the fucking redemption. I can only do so much. At what point do I just kind of go? <laughs> I'm I'm not here to spoon feed the internet. I'm not here to spoon feed the internet. I'm not doing it. Ah, uh, dearie me. Um. 3% is generous. Look, I tr look, I try. I try. <laughs> we had accidentally opened a can of worms down. No, we had this same discussion uh, yesterday. Every, every single time leaks are posted or we get a PTR for a future patch and where our head starts pushing out stuff, every time we have this discussion. Every time. Without fail. At least seven or eight times across different streams. At least. Every time. <laughs> it's like, this is this is why, you know, having like, where can we put them? Where can we make people know? People know not to fucking post spoilers. People know not to fucking post spoilers. When they do and they go, oh shit, right, that's spoilers. They then defend them, say they try to defend themselves and think, yeah, but it's everywhere. How could you possibly not have seen it? Because I've chosen not to. Like, no matter what, the dickhead's gone a dickhead. Like, 
Um, people do actually ask the streamer, like, what are you playing? You know, oh, all the time. All the time. Jack hadn't said to use an incognito tab, I wouldn't have known where to get the rules from. The, the, as I said previously, Drew, the, literally, the only place that a viewer will ever see the rules is when they join a stream for the very first time and it says, here are the rules. I agree. And you click it and it lets you chat. It never shows you again. There is no other way to bring them up. It tells you at the beginning and you agree to them so that you can chat. It's your only time. That is poor design on Twitch's part, yes. And a lot of people won't even read them and they'll just click agree so they can start talking. But that's not my problem. If people don't know spoilers are bad, <laughs> like, I don't see how that's my problem. <sighs> don't make me tap the sign. Actually, the cog below chat has a rule for me. Oh, there you go. Under chat settings. I can't see that because I have all the mod shit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see them, but that's because it's um mod mod thing. All the mod shit. Oh, hang on, wait. Switch to non-mod settings. Yeah, view chat rules. It's right there. Easy. I still think it should pop up every couple of months and make people re-agree to them just to remind them that this exists, but that's just me. I guess Twitch thinks that'd be too annoying or something. Uh right, what? Um, I'm gonna head back to place. Uh, you can view chat rules and chat settings. There you go. Thank you very much, Bay. That's new. Is it new? Or have we just not noticed? <laughs> uh, good morning, Welsh. It was not an option last month. Oh, there you go. This release an X pack only taking place in Silithus. <laughs> That'd be very interesting. Be very interesting. Uh, right. I'm switching back to fear. Because uh, I need to check which assault is up. But I mean, I could check that by jumping on my head. But we're not going to do that. For what I consider are obvious reasons. Hmm. Yeah, we already have so many little bits and pieces here as part of the stream that I have to kind of manage. Um, like, the number of streams I've gone to and they've got like seven commands and then we're sitting here with like 72. I haven't counted them, I'm not going to count them, don't fucking make me count them. Um, if you type commands you get most of them but there are still some that I've like deactivated because they're not like useful now at the moment but they will be useful later so they're there when I for when I need them but I, and I can just turn them back on but until then. But yeah, like, there are, s like, <laughs> this stream is so much more complicated than so many fucking streams that I've seen. So many. Um, and I would like to not try to, like, no. I, I don't think it's my job or the mod's job or anything to, like, educate people on, like, it's just, everyone here is a grown fucking adult. Uh, at least they should be, because we're flagged for mature audiences. So, like, if a grown-ass adult isn't going to take 20 seconds to read the rules when they come in, then, like, that's not my problem, basically. It's just, like, at what point do we just say nut? Nah? Right, Venthra Assault. Harvest Dreadwing. That's actually what's next on my list, so we're going to go do that. Mmm, spoilers and where I have something. Yep. As always. Uh, Matt for a while. Enjoy, not a problem. Have a wonderful afternoon, dude. What months have you been going for? Um, so, Jason, I use a website called Data for Azeroth, and it sorts, uh, it's got the ability to sort my mounts that I don't have from like most common to least common. So I've done that, and then I'm going through them in that order. Excuse me. So, um, right now I'm looking for the Harvester's Dreadwing. Uh, then I'll be working on the High Mountain Elderhorn and the... 
Excuse me, where is it? Where's the other Paragon Mount? Do I have, do I have all the other ones now? Good lord, I do too. <laughs> um, so yeah, the High Mountain Elderhorn, and then there's a couple on the Alliance side. I need to get the reputations to Exalted so I can purchase them, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get there. Get there. <clears throat> uh, a lot of basic etiquette as well that really shouldn't have to be explained as well but unfortunately unless you cover specifics people will hold that against you it's so stupid yeah look i mean i i very specifically do cover specifics like it says you know this may include leaks that you've seen but um people forget people don't think it applies to this because it's super well like everyone knows it's posted everywhere but that's not the point um, I'm actively avoiding all of those sources because I don't want to know. Um, I Part of my stream is playing through storyline for the first time with you guys. I have never played a beta. I have never played a PTR with the exception of one, and that was the pre-patch beta for Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, no, at the end of Wrath of the Lich King, I think it was. Because it was the patch that they introduced achievements. So I went on the PTR once, and transferred my character across to see which achievements I would already get when the patch went live and which ones I was really close to that I could work on now so that when the patch hit I would have them automatically. And so I did that. That's the only PTR I've ever been on for a while. Uh, and I've never been in a beta. So like, I, I actually have a really solid focus on experiencing the storyline on live for the very first time. And you guys getting that those genuine reactions as I experience storyline, as I learn new information and all that kind of stuff, you, you get the no, what, fuck off, all that shit happens. Like, it's all genuine. It's not, you know, you, you see those reaction videos on YouTube where they watch it through and they're like, okay, at this moment I need to gasp really loudly and at this moment I need to, like, squeeze out a tear or two and then and then they do it and then they do it and then they get a million plus views. Like, it's not, it's not like that. I don't do that shit. Um, but I can't do that unless I avoid spoilers intentionally. Oh, I got a mage skin! I got a retro mage skin. I hope you guys got some beautiful skins. Let me know in chat. Congratulations to Faden, Meaty, and Bay on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Onwards we go. Um, I just used simple armory. Totally fair. Totally fair. I liked that I could sort things by different stuff rather than just having them all grouped by expansion. Um, Data for Azeroth has kind of helped me with that particular aspect of it, but Simple Armory is fantastic. It's it's a great resource. Uh, I miss my farming. My luck stopped when I looted Shara Vanga. <laughs> well done, Christian. Well done. Um, I don't have that one just yet. Uh, I will get it eventually. Um, but ah, your luck doesn't stop. You've just gotta just gotta push through. Gotta push through. Um, right. What am I? actually doing. Not this one, not that one. Barely heard three. Okay, cool. Done. Time for tea. Have a good night, everyone. Hope you get some good mounts. Me too, Zarin. Thank you so much and enjoy your tea. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Hope it's delightful and delicious. Darkest greeting. Your arrival heralds our victory. Oh, actually. Lead our I... charge into the fortress. No, it's... Covenant Assaults, isn't it? Yeah, I remember now. The master must be stopped. Lady Moonberry, might you kindly cover our advance into the fortress? A simple no, thank, thank you, Maul. No one can see us the unless we want them to. souls will be taken care of. Um, do you think spoilers has a time limit? Uh, for stream, yeah. If it's happened on stream, it's not a spoiler. That's exactly, yeah, what, what Jack has said. Um, basically, our rule is until it happens on stream, it hasn't happened. Um, for, for me personally. So um, if, if like, for example, when, we're doing, when we were doing the Chains of Domination storyline, every Wednesday a new piece of storyline was released, a new chunk of story. And so Jas and I would log on, do our stuff, and then play through the story. And then that chunk of story was free to be discussed for, for the rest of forever. Um, but any spoilers relating to the next chapter was still absolutely not. And then the next week would come and then we'd play through the next chapter and then that was all cool. That, then that was fine. So yeah, that's that's how we operate here. Um, obviously, uh, other stuff like in, in the outside world with, with movies and shit like that is a little bit different. Um, and I just I tend to, you know, try to respect what, um, 
individual people like if they haven't seen something yet and they want to go see it but they can't get to it or whatever it happens to be then I try to respect that as much as I can um one of the things that I learned um instead of saying oh my god what did you think about what did you think when blah 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 happened you know that instead of that kind of thing it's you know or, or you know have you heard about this thing that happens in this leak about 10.0 it's have you seen the leaks about 10.0 because there, all I get from that is that there's a leak and it's about 10.0. There's zero else that is nothing, like, that is, you know, that's a question. And then I can say, no, I haven't, nor do I want to. We're not discussing that here. Thank you for respecting that, you know? Um, or, like, you know, what, what chapter are you up to? Or have you played blah, blah, blah game? Have you seen blah, blah, blah movie? That kind of stuff, it, get, it allows you to gauge whether or not what you're about to say is a spoiler or not without actually giving the spoiler in the fucking question. <laughs> uh, and I found that that's worked really, really well for me personally. Um, obviously it's going to be a little bit different for everyone, but I've liked that. What, what am I doing? I've got to feed people, don't I? Serve tea to allies. Alright. can hide from the hunt. Target is in combat. Okay, so only people who are not in combat. Already all have tea. This is not very good. <laughs> and what secret shall be your soul's undoing? Uh, this is why I hate social media for spoilers and shit too. Like, I get people get excited and want to talk about stuff, but posting it publicly isn't the way to go about it. Yeah. Shall we yeah. I think, like, if you get excited about it and stuff, one of the great ways to do it is, like, I just saw blah. Oh my god. End of tweet. Um, you can also, if you really want to talk about it with people, you can also say, like, if you've seen it, please DM me. I need to get, I need to talk about this shit. That kind of stuff. Like, it, there are there are definitely respectful ways to do it, but people just either don't care or don't realise. Which is kind of sad. What do you need? That's it. Show my 85th attempt. My luck is no more for sure. No, that's like, look, everyone gets really lucky with one or two mounts and then like really unlucky with one or two mounts and then everything else is like average. Just because you got super lucky with one does not mean you'll have zero luck whatsoever anywhere else. It just means you might have to be a hell of a lot more patient for those ones. <laughs> But you'll get there. It just, it just takes work. It just takes work. Um, I feel like Josh should be a pro at this quest. But serving tea? I mean, you'd think so. myself. Best way I've seen on Twitter is a tweet announcing spoilers, then talking about spoilers in the reply. Yeah, that's also a really good way to do it. 
because it usually collapses the rest of the conversation. Unless it's only like three tweets. If it's anything under the, under three tweets, you get all three of them like laid out, which is a little annoying. But at least you can kind of scroll past them faster. The wild hunt has need of us. But yeah, like there are there are absolutely really respectful ways of of dealing with spoilers and shit like that. And then there are not so respectful ways. But you know. I hope that people will learn. You have my ear. Right. Still need to find a couple more. Need. There are a couple up here, so. Just hide from the hunt. Okay. I will uphold my own. Mm -hmm, you talk about spoilers, put into Cthulhu text so you need to purposely translate them to say oh, it's kind of bad for the one person that can read that fluently though. Oh dear. I kind of feel like the one person that can read that fluently is not wasting their time with fucking Twitter. Like they're they're busy with fucking world domination bullshit, you know? I've done that bit. Oh, right. Okay, so now I'm going to go back down here again. Yeah, turn into a binary. You have to actually make effort to read it. Plus, you can see who's AI and who's not. Oh, Lord. But you chew through the characters for tweets so quickly with binary. seen too much I don't think spoilers are the issue oh, it takes too much space to put messages in binary yeah exactly too many characters good ideas though I think I'll stick to simple memory. I'm too stupid for the other one. No, I don't think so. Um, you just gotta, like, there's a lot more data on data for Azeroth is all. If you have a click around, stuff will start making sense pretty quickly, but, um, like, obviously you need to use a tool that suits your needs best. It's just that DFA suits my needs better than simple memory does. And if simple memory suits your needs just fine, then you don't need to look elsewhere. Totally okay. It's got nothing to do with your mental capacity. I did get a Mount Lucky! I did! I got a melee! Finally! <laughs> 631. Not too shabby. 
We still haven't found a worthy soul. I've cleared this whole place. God damn it. Mount. I take it about like a melee. There we go. More sworn weapons. Oh, I've got to kill them. Okay. Can't find the rules in your Discord because they're not there. They're in Twitch chat. People can't find my. People tend to not be able to find my Discord without being in Twitch chat first, and the rules are the same for both places. I don't need to post them on every fucking platform in every goddamn channel and all that kind of shit for people to understand that spoilers are trash. Like... <laughs> I just realized my headset was still sitting funny because when I was talking to Jas. Whoops! Discord channel has its own explanation without a purpose. Yep, they indeed do. And finally, finally, I get a weapon. Good lord. Just that I can't say stop showing me these ads to all the electric propaganda I'm getting on YouTube. Show me something fun. No Clive every fucking vid. He must have dropped so much money on fucking YouTube ads. Does he honest to God think that YouTube's demographic is going to vote for him? Like, who- which intern told him that? And are they just trying to drain the war chest? Because like, props to them if that's the case. Like, the YouTube demographic is not your demographic, mate. What are you doing? What are you doing? I think about simple armory is half the stuff I have missing is PvP and I can't be bothered. Look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Does that mean that you'll join us for PvP if we do it, Jack? Just so you can start crossing some things off the list? Not wrong yet. Yeah. <laughs> Appropriate. Where's my loot? Oh my god. So didn't give me any loot. If you need the rare wrath PvP sets, they sell for gold now in Old Dal. Ah, nice! Awesome. I think that's fading. Yeah. Tis. It's unfortunate.
I have not been- I've accidentally been not pressing the, uh, the Gormling 8 button. Oops! I'm really good at this. Buggy bullshit. Okay. Don't people 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 just hate doing it solo queue. Yeah, agreed. I I'm absolutely in the same boat. Where did that go? Where's the corpse gone? Why did you kill it? And where did you put the corpse? That's all. The crowns. Which ones? Oh, it's the ghastly will breakers that give us the ghastly crowns. Okay, that makes sense. Hey, a nurse. How you going? Hope you're doing well. You don't, yeah, not too bad. I'm alive. I'm alive. Got a mount today. I finally got melee, which is wonderful. I'm very happy about that. So yeah, doing doing okay. Doing okay. Um. Hey, Sam. Doing well. Oh, slash. Okay, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a lovely day. Hope that matches the lights. That's dope! Thank you, Chris! Thank you very much for noticing. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, yeah, every every stream I do my makeup inspired by a World of Warcraft mount. And uh, everyone who's here early gets to guess which mount uh, I've, I've chosen for the day. And the person who guesses correctly uh, gets a little something to say thank you. Uh, usually a ran- excuse me, usually a random steam key, but sometimes I've got other things up my sleeves that I can give away. 
So, yeah, and today's mount was the Azure Drake. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, personally. Just joined the Discord. Fantastic, Sam. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Where the fuck? I need another ghastly crown. I think they've just all... I think we're waiting for respawns now. Um, sneaky way to attempt my first football team makings. Ah, hope to return with a tasty success. By the way, my text prediction wanted to type ATT instead of attempt. I mean, I don't blame it. Uh, I wonder what that could mean. Hum. I do so wonder. Enjoy, media. I hope it goes really, really well. I would love to hear your, about your experiences. Fingers crossed it is delightful and delicious. There's one of these. fully grown but I still need another crown one more crown and then I can jump on as it suggests It's been it's been a day it's been a day but that's okay we got a melee and uh, that's I'm sure just the first of a handful of mounts that we'll get today fingers crossed I'm just gonna keep trying and see what happens see what happens let me confer with my sources no fuck you Shippo <laughs> I want more mounts okay <laughs> oh wait no it's down under here isn't it I always forget that Hello, more. I thought they couldn't come under here. Oh, oops. with my sound choice? Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> what a great sound. That was a trip to write 2022 instead of 2020 or 2021. Yeah. Uh, Brain still thinks it's 2020. Yeah, look, but it, it, for all intents and purposes, it is. Like, it's fine. It's fine. Help Drave and secure the upper platform. Okay, so we're almost, I think we're... I'm okay with this. Pop on Draven. <laughs> with the power of Revenge, uh, I must still be on cooldown, Jazz. Just put like 1701 here and leave it as that. And you can't be the rock. Yep. Yeah. 202x. Like... <laughs> Oh, Mooberry. Uh, in March, day 500 plus. Yeah, basically. Um, is the one tablespoon of fructose like normal sugar at a retail place? Approximately, yes. I'd probably put in not quite... You know when you do a regular tablespoon, how it like bubbles up just a little bit or like you'd scrape it off at the top or whatever? I'd do just a touch less than that. Personally, is what I found is uh, equivalent to retail full sugar, um, just less. Because remember, if you if you scoop it up, and then you pour it in, and then you mix, you've also got the fructose that's like stuck to the bottom of it and all that kind of stuff as well. So it adds a little bit extra. So if you take a little bit out of the spoon, it balances out. 
pretty much perfectly. In in my experience, at least. I'm not sure exactly what your retail places are like, so... Um, that's my experience. Take from there and adjust to, to see how you go. Set for the decade then? Exactly. <laughs> mostly, mostly. Uh, what time is it for you? 5.48pm on Monday. On Mound Farm Monday. I live in Brisbane. In Brisbane, Australia. Like, 20XX, yeah. Set until we die! Oh, that's a terrifying thing to think of, isn't it? Good lord. Alright, oh, I can fly here now, can I? Thanks is the only comparison I have since I never tried bubble tea before being in for Of course, of course. Yeah, look, give that a go. Um, obviously you can't take sugar out once you've put it in, um, but what you can do is add more water. Um, that will, if you're doing a milk tea, that, that will make it a little less creamy. Um, and if you're doing a fruit tea, it'll make it a little less flavorful if you do add water to dilute it. But if you don't add enough, you can always add more. Um, so just kind of, yeah, have, have a play with it see what and i mean like although most tables like most sets of spoon measurements should be pretty much bang on the same different brands are going to have variations all that kind of shit as well so you it's never going to be quite perfect but once you once you kind of figure out what works for your set of spoons and shit that'll be your kind of yeah once you figure it out you're golden 99 is my age cap where i don't get to play with lego anymore <laughs> Oh, Yori, I love that. That's fantastic. Uh, 15 hours ahead of me. Holy, you're from the future? No, I'm just from Australia. If I was actually from the future, I'd be far more successful than I am. Because <laughs> I'd know about trends and shit before they happened and, and all that kind of shit. <laughs> Just for 12 hours, shift so up at 3 a.m. Goodness gracious. And so the Dramaculum is ours for the Shadowlands. And what can this humble fallen prince do for you today? Alrighty. Congratulations to Draz, Meaty, Dunno, and Zombie on all your bonus shits. Well done. Uh, we're heading for the token chest. So tokens are what will progress you further in your tiers down here um, for your battle pass and things like that. So if you'd like a handful of bonus ones, make sure you place your unit in this battle. You can click the link in chat, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Very, very easy. Oh, it's just me. Very, very easy. Uh, what is the stream is all about? That's about it. It's a little fun game on the side. We switch over every 30 minutes to watch the battle play out. And then uh, we start up a new one so that you guys can place your units. And then 30 minutes later, we come, we come back and do it again. You can get gold and scrolls to upgrade your units uh, so that they can last longer and do more damage and all that kind of fun shit. Uh, you can unlock cosmetic skins and other rewards and things. It's just, just a bit of fun. Um, right, okay, so. Harvester's Dreadwing. No. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. 
Uh, right, high mountain paragon. Actually, how... where are we for... Oof, yeah, okay. This is... I don't think we're gonna make it, but that's okay. Um, 246 is 248. 97.42! Well done, Yori! Got a skin from a chest last night too. Hey, that's awesome! That's awesome. It sounds cool. It is It is a little bit of fun, Sam. It's great fun. Like, it's, uh... Yeah, no, like, all you need is a Twitch account, which you already have, considering that you're typing in chat um, to be able to play. So if you scroll up to where it says Stream Captain Bot, Fiyama just selected a battle, blah, 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 blah. Um, you can hit that link. And, uh, yeah, it just asks you to log in with your Twitch account. And then, yeah, you just start dragging and dropping units to the battlefield. Like, that's it. it there's no other kind of tricky way to get into it or anything like that. It's just jump straight in and go. It's pretty awesome. Right. High Mountain. It's an unshackled paragon. Ick. No, what I want is High Mountain Paragon. Ah, oh dear. I wonder how much rep we'll be able to squeeze out of High Mountain today. These ones have got an hour left, so maybe I should target those first. So that maybe we'll get another- oh no, because it's a whole hour away. I don't think it'll take us an hour to get through all this. But look, we'll- ah, oh, fuck it. So weird not having to do anything else, like holy cow, so strange. Really close to Wardens though, that's probably gonna pop us I in the cage today, to accidentally. The needy around the city. Find those who cannot travel to my tavern and see that I think they drink I'm their done food. with Lady Moonberry actually, now that I think about it. Probably hide her bar. Yeah, Lady Member is done, so I can move her to an active. So stuff I need from Morgraine, Cassia, Helioth, Vol, Canicos, Mark, Randall and Cudgel Face, and the Countess, yeah, so that's all. I need to leave that all there. Unfortunately. I love like clearing out and just put moving things to an active feels really good. I mean, I don't have to do those anymore. It's lovely. It really annoys me that I can't move some of these other ones to an active though. Oh well. One moment, please. Sorry about that. Sometimes you got a mod. <laughs> Prisoners of Greystone, where? Is that gonna be in here, maybe? Maybe. N no, not in here. Uh, one mount for the day so far. So far, yes, just the one. But we'll see. We'll see where we get to. Um, I did a two-hour lack with post yesterday for the June scavenger mount. No mount, a whole bunch of BFA transmog was nice. Made lots of music. Yay! Oh, that's fantastic news. That's really cool. Our island's on the docket for today. If we get there, yeah. So it's still we just work working our way down the list. Um, and if... Please find them. If we get to it, then we do it. That's kind of, yeah. 
So I'm assuming because we got there last week, I'm assuming that we're going to get, because we got there with a couple of hours to spare last week. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to get there today as well. Um, but we also didn't do an assault last week. So we'll just, we'll have to see how it goes. Um, we'll just have to see. Um, twerk emote when. <laughs> oh dear. pills take 20 minutes yeah around about usually so usually what I do when I'm making a milk tea is I start the water I boil the water I pop the pearls in and then I make the tea um you know uh, so I brew I brew the kettle for both um the pot at the same time as the tea and I pour enough what I need into the cup for the for the tea and I pour the rest of it into the pot um, stick the pearls in uh, and leave them cooking, like stir them to get them all unstuck from each other. But then I cook. Uh, while they're cooking, I make the tea. So I brew the tea, I dissolve the powders, all that kind of stuff. And by the time the tea is ready to go and to be drunk, the pearls are usually done. And so I strain them and pop them in the cup. So I don't think it quite takes me 20 minutes to cook them, um, but they seem to be just fine when they're a little bit underdone. Obviously, it'll depend on personal preference and stuff, though, but give it a go and see how you go. I need to refresh Fia's page so I can see melee cross stuff. Forces hold this warden tower. Break their ranks. So please, Show 631. Not bad. Still getting like one mount a week. I'm still going to be massively behind as they release <laughs> new ones. Uh, what are you drinking on? Uh, what I'm drinking at the moment is a ginger and lemon kombucha. Um, cause my belly has been a little unhappy today. And so I asked Jas if he could bring me home a ginger beer. Uh, and there was no ginger beer at the service station he stopped off at, but, uh, he did manage to find a ginger and lemon booch. So I'm having that instead and it seems to be helping. So that's nice. Loop around and then head up. I feel like I'm seeing more people on Heartbreak as the closer we get to Lovers in the Air. It definitely, yeah, I've I've certainly seen more lately than I feel like I've seen in a while. We'll see, we'll see. Monk level 40, well done, Shiva, well done. Oh, excuse me. Nice, yeah, it's pretty tasty. I like it at least. It's definitely an acquired taste, kombucha, uh, but I like it, so. That's what matters, right? As long as you like what you're drinking. I can hear the scream of the earth. The drug bar shot. Don't mess with the mountain! Be here. I don't think I've done this world quest in a while. Interesting. Uh, Lovers in the Air is a, an event in World of Warcraft in Azeroth uh, that coincides with Valentine's Day. It's a two-week event. There's a special dungeon that's only available for those two weeks, and it drops a mount, and the mount has a 1 in 3,333 chance to drop. And uh, you get one chance per day per character. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. I think I'm entering love again, then bugged. Nah, I doubt that. I doubt that. 
It's just exception. It's the rarest man in the game. It's not bugged. Just need more patience. You are no match for the I don't even want to guess how much damage those enraged furies could have unleashed upon Thunder Totem if left. How many characters do we have ready? Um, I've got 32. But it'll be 50 by the time the event hits. It's wild. I'm new to WoW. Yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. It's uh look, there's there's a lot of holidays and stuff in WoW like that. And uh some of them are a little more valuable to collectors than others, but they're all there's something to collect from all of them. So it's definitely a, a thing. And I'm hoping to make 2022 the uh, the year of the event for me, like getting them all ooh, laystone or 40 laystone. Um, trying to get as many of the collectibles as possible. So I don't have to do it later on, uh, but we'll see. To be at least two centuries old. We'll see. That's not too bad. If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. It's enough is the answer. Never enough. Never enough. Until it drops, then it's enough. Then it's enough. Okay, Monk has just said that's fine. Time to move on to the next tune. I did a number between one and four. We've got a three and a four. I'm gonna go with two. <laughs> what has the wind brought? So we've got High Mountain Paragon, which I'm working on currently. Then we have Order of Embers Exalted, which is a um, alliance reputation. We then have Necrolord Assault, which I can't do. We've got Wayflade and Cohen, or the Unshackled Paragon, which uh, I think I'll hold on fear because she just goes faster on fear. Then we have Storm's Wake Exalted, which is also another um, Alliance reputation, which I'll probably do that and Order of Embers at the same time. Then we have Nightfair Assault, which I can't do because we've done the Venthyr one already and it's, you know, only ones up at a time. Then we have the Meat Wagon Promotion, which I don't have because it's like, and I'm not going to buy it because broke. Um, <laughs> then we have Malbog from Corthia, which I really should start doing just like Duke Malbog when I'm when I'm doing my Razor Wing Egg because I know I'm going to get up to it now. Like it's at that point. Um, so that's my bad. Um, then I've got Hellscream's Reach Exalted, uh, which is the Spectral Wolf, which is the Tolbarad tokens. So I've got to go do a round of those dailies. Um... Then we've got the Hunter Akana National Hub Bodyguard, which I've done on um, Lillian already. Like, that's where I'm working on that. I've done that one. And then we've got Island Expeditions. So we've got a few before we start doing Islands for the day. But not, like, a ton. And I'll keep you updated. Like, each time I switch to a new task, I'll let you know what I'm doing now and what's up next. So you should get a little bit of... Um, like the one, so when I start doing Tolbarad is when, um, Islands are next. For today, at least. So hopefully that'll help people figure it out if they want to do Islands with me. Five, one, one point five. E, Shiva did not state integer. <laughs> <laughs> You're all banned. <laughs> what did Shiva? What did, genuinely? What the fuck did you expect? What did you actually expect when you're asking this fucking chat for an answer? You're lucky you didn't get how I like spammed with hydrates. Um, I irrational. I isn't between one and three. I is more than three. It's group two is though. E is two point something. There's less than four. That's still three. Fear, give me a number one, two, or three. Well, I said two before, so I'm gonna stick with that. <laughs> I just love that you asked a question expecting a genuine answer of this fucking community, like. <laughs> 
my priest is getting leveled. Brilliant. Get the ones you don't like over and done with. I mean, the ones I don't like over and done with. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Loving solo islands, gradually collecting pets and achievements. Yay! Oh, that's awesome, meaty. That's fantastic, me. Oh, fuck off! Fucking Hunter Mountain always gets me every time. Hate you all. <sighs> Why do I get two alerts? One is enough. Yeah, solo islands are fantastic. Um, being able to do it in a group, if you can, is just faster. That's all it is. Especially if Jack is involved. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that was great. was one of my favorites from last time. It was just great. It's like, oh, is that Jack running past me? Mass amount of mobs. Yes, yes, it was. It was so good. Just stand by, watch Jack head up the island, maybe throw a fireball every now and then. Just stand there, hard casting, fire flame strike, you'll be good. Should let just ship place early because position in the worst spot. It really is. The actual worst spot. Actual worst spot. Mine all the hours, right? Loot the treasure chest. Yep. Don't know what you mean. Uh huh, uh huh. How many mounts do you have? 631. Not for Hunter. <laughs> You're positioned in the worst spot, Jazz. No. Jazz is in the great, great spot. He's right next to the kitchen. Which means he can get snacks whenever he wants. Harpies from the Haglands are And you can also say hi to me every time I go out there to get a snack or a drink or something. In the screeching Perfect track. positioning. We don't know how to counter their curses. Please, stop this madness! Maybe it was great for us hunters. <laughs> to be fair, I did that when it was live too. Yeah, fair. That's, that's fair. I can't do that. I'm too fucking squishy. Like... F16. You'll get there. It's 16. All that means is that you've got all the easy ones you can still go grab. Like, I've run out of easy mounts. All the ones I can get now, I have to put in, like, hella fucking effort for them. Whereas you can just be like, look, I have a new mount. You know? Now they practice their dark rituals, no matter who it hurts. Fucking Druid Eric got me every time I wanted to go to the Die Big World Quest! <laughs> Oh dear. Right, I should do some redemptions. Three more Argent Tournament mounts. Well done! I think I've only got one Argent Tournament mount. Because I just haven't gotten there on the list yet. God, once I do, it's gonna be a fucking. Oh, that's gonna be a time. That's gonna be a time. I think I'm gonna set up like one character per mount because, like, Fear is the only one who's actually getting the final tokens, like the champion's tokens. But I have 50 fucking characters. So I can earn them all at the same time, but I have to get a bunch of them to champion level first. So by the time I get Fia to purchase a mount, I can like cross one of them off the list and she can start working on their mount instead, if that makes sense. And maybe that way I'll get them faster. I don't know, we'll have to see. Only one way to find out and that's to fucking do it. Quickly, quickly, careful out there.
Should I get my guy geared? Then it's mount hunting time. Yes. What mounts are you going for? At the moment, I'm going for the High Mountain Elderhorn, which drops from the Paragon Cache from High Mountain Torrin. Um, High Mountain Torrin, or is it like... High Mountain Tribe, sorry. Um, and I'm like, I'm, I'm almost halfway there. I'm not going to get another Paragon Cache today. But, uh, you know, I can at least make some progress towards it. Five percent level fifty nine. Yes, amazing, Yuri. Right, onward. <clears throat> oh, one of my pets dinged. That's nice. Dum dum. This will be number ten, just in case Blizz does a mean thing. Uh, all right, like this close. Mm -mm. I'm pretty sure last time they did something like that was, um, I think it was Legion or it might've been the start of BFA and they announced it like three weeks out or something. So they'd, they'd be like announcing it pretty fucking soon if they were going to. I don't think they will though, because historically speaking, it has always been 10 levels um, below Thingamajig. And it was level 50 last Lovers in the Air, and it was Shadowlands last Lovers in the Air. So there's no reason for them to change it. Like, zero reason for them to change it. I've ran out of things to do on my account, so now I'm just farming Doom Gorgia for Molly on my mum's account. Oh, fantastic. How? Could you possibly have run out of things to do on your account though like good lord you should go get all the things download all the things that'll give you something to do holy mother of fuck that's great love that helia's cursed magic threatens high mountain her rituals must not be belong complete. to me helia. witness the power of the archmage me. My tunes are locked on what I'm mount farming. Mount farm something new then. Your efforts are Go get another one. Odin will never be free. Our decisive victory. This one. There is no limit to what you can achieve, Jason. Most events are doable by any character at level to do current expert content. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Guess run. Yay! Yas. Number us. We have need of your skills. Okay, there we go. That's uh oh no. Wait, yeah, no, that's high mountain cleared. Um look, we got 56% of the way to our paragon cage, so that's not too bad. It's still trash, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna head back to the garrison, I'm gonna switch to my alliance tune, and we're gonna go do order members. And um what's it? Storm's wake. Um, I think I might actually spend the rest of the night doing pet farming on my main. Ooh, I can't lol. For the Alliance! I'm sure you can. 
Ah, oh, dear. Alrighty, let us switch. Oh, I got a supplies from the wardens. I'll have to turn that in later. Maybe I'll get uh, Sira's Sira? Sira's cloak. Maybe. We'll see. I think I'm gonna spend this time doing the Safari Achieves. Fuck yeah. The Safari Achieves are great. They, they really set you up with a solid base. Like, the Safari and the Raiding with Leashes Achieves, if you can do both sets of those, you're pretty much covered for the vast majority of in-game pet battles. Like, it's... I mean, it, some of them might be a little tricky, but... Like, you're covered for, for a lot of them, which is really, really useful. I'm so close to having two honor mounts on the top row of mounts to, get, to collect. God, I hate myself. Um, right, so let's go to Brawlis. What other pet battle things you use out on websites? Uh, Zufu. Zufu, I think it's just like WoW Pet, uh, wow pet Guides um, is the website, like the actual URL, but it's called Zufu's um, Pet something something. Uh, I use Rematch. And I use TD Pet Battle Script. Those are like the website and the two add-ons, mainly. Hey, it does. Should I need to go do the Celestial Tournament? I should be able to get a new pet today. Ah, oh, yay, Yuri! Fantastic. That's wonderful news. Congratulations. What's the weather like in Brisbane at the moment? Um, I don't know. I'm not really going outside because Panini. Um, but it's been pretty, I think it's been fairly warm. We also had a marine warning um, because of the eruption over New Zealand um, causing like tidal waves and shit. Um, but I'm not sure if you'd count that as weather. Uh, let's see what the temperature is at the moment. Bum, 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 bum. It's 27 degrees Celsius and mostly cloudy. Uh, the max today was 33. Thank fuck I didn't leave the house. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's... Um, let me go up north. We're going to hit Azerite Wounds. As our first one. I can't sew that, that's fine though. Um, and then we'll do bumbles as well while we're here, as we usually do. And then we'll hit up there and uh, go around that way, I reckon. What have we got Totolan and some wave blade. <laughs> sure, okay, that's fine. Several Azerite wounds lay exposed nearby. Use the heart of Azeroth to mend them. Mm. Uh, Tonga underwater volcano eruption. I, I'm not 100% sure. It was just whatever. Yeah, the, there was some kind of volcanic activity and it went bang. Um, any damages in Oz? No idea. No idea. I don't tend to check up on the news these days, it's too fucked. Just try to focus on getting my own shit done for the day and hope for the best. Um, really good with tsunami, winning through Oz East Coast, don't think anything damaging yet. Uh, not me googling what that is in Fahrenheit. Oh, I don't know what Fahrenheit is, so um, people tell me that kind of shit and I'm like, I don't know. So yeah, no, I'm, that's totally fine. <laughs> no judgement here. Um. West Coast North America also had tsunami warnings, yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was big. It was really fucking big. I 
I saw some uh, some gifs of um, the satellite images of the eruption from uh, on Reddit, and uh, <laughs> yeah, large, large. Uh, he's had loud bangs across North Island coastal swells. Yep, I mean, when you go and look at what it looked like, you'll know why. Like, <laughs> uh, Neke, Zam, Death, Chaos, and Draz, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. I hope you all got a lovely amount of tokens. I've unlocked two tiers myself. Which for Boston would be a great day right now. It's snowing, raining. Fantastic. I hope everyone's able to stay safe. Bonus shit. Go. Uh, and now we're just going to head through to the boss. Just a little catastrophic eruption. Just a little one. Assists. Monks are really good at assisting, from what I remember. <clears throat> okay. Oh, and if you had two pillars scrolls on the bonus shit, fantastic. Right now it's two degrees Celsius. It's a little bit chilly. A little bit chilly. Hope you're staying warm. Right, before we do Gale Storm, we're gonna head down here. And do day six of bumbles. <clears throat> uh, good morning, Z. Hope you're doing well. about Bumble stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's useful that I'm here for the, the mount stuff and I can just kind of zoom over it and, and do it while I'm on the way to a new world quest. Works well. Hi, the sun went. Oh my god. 31 months, holy shit. Thank you so much for the resub, Diablo. Much appreciated. Oh my god. Oh my god. It just, it blows my mind how long some of you have been here, some of you have been supporting, and like how long I've been streaming. It's six years next month. What the fuck? Six years. I, um, Jesus Christ. In two years, not yet. Almost, almost. And then Drass brags with his follow age drop. Six years and I only just hop onto the family tree. Look, better late than never, Candy. Better late than never. <laughs> no, they're like, we've got so many new community members just because of all the opportunities that I've gotten in the last year. Like, it is, it is brought so many new eyes to the stream and I am eternally grateful, so, so thankful for all those opportunities. It has been unbelievable. I'm so excited. Six years. Fuck me. End of February we'll be celebrating because that's the anniversary. And it's my birthday in Feb, so it'll be a bit of both. A bit of both.
That sounds fun. It will be. It'll be a blast. We'll have a marathon stream. And we'll, we'll just, yep. I don't know what the fuck we're going to do because I'll be done leveling by then. But we'll find something to do, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll find something to do. Oh, I've got eight. Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Oops. Cough, 60s? Look, maybe. I wonder how many, like, people who have been doing, like, they've been leveling their level 50 tunes to 60, how long is it taking these days? Because obviously on day one, it took me quite a bit longer because I did, you know, read all the quests and all that kind of shit. But like how, roughly how long is it taking you? Because I've read things that are say anywhere from like five to six hours to like 10 to 12. And that's a big, that's like, that's a big difference. Marathon coass, if I mess around like eight hours, okay, okay. So I'll probably be able to get one done in a marathon stream, considering how much I fuck around. My experience, not long at all, that's on top. Warrior out a level soon by the storyline just to compare. Okay. Cool. Let me tell you. Yeah, sure. I will go for it, Jack. Tell me all your knowledge. Enlighten me. Tides bless. They will not take this valley so long as we start. Recorded the slash played for three tunes at 50. Okay. We could get a dungeon group together for the marathon stream. Spam them like crazy. <sighs> that just sounds boring as batshit though. Like. <sighs> I mean, it could work, but also like. <sighs> We're kind of operating without a plan here, so take out this threat, and don't get killed. Think of the transmog. Maybe. <clears throat> Stupendous work. I knew we could count on you to protect us. Eh, stuck. Go. Eh. Eh. There we go. We're good. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's gonna be boring when you need to tank. I'm not tanking. Nor do you want me to. Uh, total time one day, ten hours. Recorded time to one day, six hours. Tune is 59. Oh, Jesus. So, like, 30 hours. 30 to 34 hours. That's a long time. It's in the world quest bonus only. World bonus quest only with intermittent questing on a plate tank is pretty quick. Yeah, but I don't just have plate tanks. <laughs> I have literally all the classes and like four of each. We need to cut off their lumber supply. Burn it all. So are you yeah, so Jack, are you talking like So that's four hours total. Okay, four to five hours, fifty to sixty. Uh, fifty to fifty-nine. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Because I'm like, that doesn't seem right. And I'm guessing that that's in threads, because I know you tend to do threads. Yeah, threads, okay. Huge chunk of time out of questing. 
I can imagine. I can imagine. Tank to heal the threads, so uh, six to seven DPS threads based on my hunter. Okay. Okay. I wonder how that compares to storyline. Especially like storyline with Zygor where you're not thinking about where to go and you just follow the arrow of destiny and get shit done, you know? Consensus is good. Consensus is good. It's about seven hours threads without dungeon or tall ghast. Okay. It only seems to be worth leveling just the once per day for the daily quest. Yeah. <clears throat> and honestly, if I was going to do it, I'd probably... I wouldn't do it all in one block. I'd do the whole thing I was doing early on with leveling, where I'd run out arrested and switch. Six fifty-seven, something like that. It's totally fair. Let's submit an unlimited weekly rather than the one per week. So mega farming isn't such a roadblock. Oh, sorry, Ebef, we're talking about leveling. Um, so um, the the tour gas daily, um, like it gives you a big chunk of experience once a day uh, while you're leveling. Um, yeah, nothing to do with the the soul ash or anything. Welcome on in though. I hope you're having a lovely day. Yeah, talking about roughly how long it takes a tune to get from 50 to 60 uh, with threads compared to storyline quests, Adventure companies making a mess tank v healer, v dps, etc, etc. Yeah. Hey Edtree, how you going? Welcome back. Hey! Be seeing you! Definitely need to bring my hunter through here as high as I can to get them out and pet and stuff still, of course. The pre-made or a boost threads would be a lot faster, yeah. To melt yourself? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm alive. I'm alive. A little bit wrecked, but um overall alive. <laughs> How am I going for rep? I'm still, I'm still a few days off. He's also with these ones. Sphere alive. Glad to hear things are okay. Yeah, things are okay. Okay is a good word for it. I'm glad you're doing well. It's really good to hear. I have 16 left to max, they're all 30 plus. I'm almost done! Amazing, Jack. That's so good. So good. Dum-da-dum! Dum-da-dum! 
Uh, so after this one, I think I need to go do Nashatar on Fear for the Paragon Cache. Once I've done Storms, Storm Song, and then um, Dressler. Do you know do you know roughly how long it's taken you to get 1 to 50 on average? No. Um, I don't. I could go and do slash played, but I also stand around a whole lot and all that kind of shit. Like I'm a really, really bad measure of how long shit takes to do. Um, just because I stop for battles and I often like once stream is finished and we're raiding, I'll just leave a tune logged in while I'm fucking around in chat and doing post stream things and all that kind of, like it's just I'm not a good measure of that kind of shit unfortunately <clears throat> but that being said um they're sorted by level Obviously something that's got seven days played and all the, like, a lot of them I'm also logging into to do garrison caches and stuff like that, even though they're not 50 yet, stuff like that. So it's not, not super good. Um, but this is, that from there, from about there, like the two day up, those are all like my old tunes. So we've got anywhere from, let's, anywhere from like 16 hours, 16 and a half on a 49 16 and a half out of 47. Um, uh, that's a one, a one day, four hour. That one was the one I was doing through. Oh no, it wasn't one I was doing through. What's it? Never mind. Um, then 22 hours, 21. Like, so it's, that is, that is massively more than it should take. Massively more than what it should take. Um, but I, yeah, I stand around, I log in on when I'm not leveling, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's, uh, bad numbers. How goes the 50-50s? Really, really well. I'm super close. I'm a couple days behind, uh, sorry, a couple days ahead still, uh, which is good. Um, just gotta kinda get on it. I've been, uh, a little bit rough in terms of my physical health lately. So I've been spending a couple extra hours in bed rather than getting up when I wanted to get up and uh, having extra time during the day to kind of get a couple of hours of leveling in. So it's uh, it's been a little bit rough, but I'm still a couple days ahead. So that's um, that's a good thing. Oh, I'm gonna do a million things exactly. Looks at the three games he has opened yet. Yeah, maybe not me either. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. I mean, I'm not a I'm not a speed leveler. I never never have I ever been a speed leveler or anything of the sort. So like I'm yeah. Nah. <laughs> mm, I figured twelve to sixteen hours or so. So about uh, ten to fifty. 10 to 50 in WAD is meant to take you roughly 10 hours. Plus however long Exiles Reach takes you, which I found was somewhere between an hour and two, depending on how quickly you could kill shit. Um, but usually Exiles Reach took me about an hour and a quarter-ish, on a, uh, like roughly, to get through. Um, so it should take you therefore somewhere around like 11 or 12 hours to get 1 to 50 if you're doing one. It's awesome to hear. You got this. Oh yeah, I've I've totally got this. I am I'm so excited. This is gonna hurt. Cool. So that sucks. I don't think I can solo that one. Because I can't pop the bubble. That's okay. Um we'll go to the different one instead. No, I've come to kill some not grabs. Uh, not not turtles, rather. 
definitely come to kill some crabs. And some burps. to the water. A turtle made it to the water. Brilliant. Glad to hear it. Thank you, awesome. hero. Uh, all right. That's us done. Uh, we're gonna go down to Drustvar. Get us some Order of Embers rep. So that's put a Stormer's Wake is now 9,500. Sorry, yeah, 9,500 out of 21k. Revered, uh, sorry, Order of Embers is a fair bit behind, but that's okay. That's okay. However, once we hit Exalted with these, that's like two mounts a pop. Rather than just the one that I'm actually aiming for, the ground mount, there's one that's far more expensive that's a flying mount um, that I'm also going to be able to afford to purchase. So that's good. Um, seems about the same then. Healer, Druids on 8 hours played at 40, just with BFA dungeon spam. I can zone out a lot easier and watch stuff when I'm dungeon spamming there. Totally fair. Did I drink a little bubble tea? Is it my cup? Yay, meaty! How is it? Do you like it? What flavor is it? What topping? I'm guessing you've got pearls. What's, uh, what is the verdict? Yes, yeah, spill all the deets. All of the deets. <laughs> spill the tea. Preferably not the actual tea, though, because you want to drink that, not spill that. Our music. The citizens of Drustvar are under attack from the Coven's forces. <clears throat> I'm just supposed to check out the moon tonight. It's full and it's red. Ooh, we got a blood moon, do we? You'll make a worthy sacrifice. The power! Passion fruit with pearls. Unfortunately, when I ordered, I forgot to ask the green instead of black tea. I can taste the difference, but still enjoying it. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. I, I get that. And I, every single order, I forget to ask for no straws. Every order. Because I am an umpty. Um, <laughs> so I, I feel you. And that, that, that is a bit of a pity, but that's okay. It is still tasty. It's just, it, there is, yeah, there's definitely a taste difference. I get that. I'm glad you're enjoying it though. That's that's super important. And I'm so happy to hear that. Yay! 
So, what is the next flavor you're gonna try? Big question. I think we're probably gonna have a honeydew tonight. For the coven. Possibly. Oh no! Oh Jess. That's okay. That's okay. Do you want to check that other bottle and have a look and see if that was um yes? All will serve the heart's base. Because I mean if it's fine, then we should absolutely use it up. You have given us some breathing room. Thank you. Failing that we also have aioli, which might be strange on vegetables, but like, it's still delicious, so maybe it'll be good. <laughs> Slipped in the box for packed with straws next to my reusable cups. Next to be peach. Husband has mango tonight, still awaiting the verdict. You have fucking sauce. I mean. I'm. I'm just. I'm gonna. I'm good. Right next to the regular sauce. Yep. Yep. Go with that. Artifacts of great power belong in the hands of elders. That's some rambunctious adventure. The skyline there, it's super pretty. I'm guessing it's gonna be modeled off Aurora Borealis. But yeah, it's fucking gorgeous. I actually took a screenshot the other day. I don't remember where I was, but the skyline was just fucking incredible. It was like it was a sunset, but like the perfect sunset with like the um the the oranges and the bright pinks and the bright blues and all that kind of stuff and then just like this mountain in the middle of it and I'm like I need to find nail polish and I need to do a fucking ombre like that on my nails because it was just so gorgeous so gorgeous but I still have so many little shitty nail art things to use up so I think it'll be a while before I start doing actual like actual nail art Ground was great for sunsets. Yeah. The floating islands. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're running short on silver, which is crucial in our fight against the witches. Delve into the mines and gather all you can find. I actually downloaded the WoW model viewer thinking that I'd be able to get access to skyboxes, but it doesn't seem to be able to do those at all, or if it does, I have no idea how. Um, 
which is kind of annoying because I kind of want it like I would love to recreate you know we do we do mount makeup why can't I do like skybox nails you know um, but I just I couldn't figure out how to make it do a thing These supplies will help us continue the fight against the Coven. Thank you. Have you tried Oh Crap What's It Called? I have not tried Oh Crap What's It Called. Where would I download this? Do I just Google it? <laughs> Look, I tried real hard to keep a straight face. I did not. I failed. It's fine. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Oh, I fucking love that. That's fucking gorgeous. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Narcissus. No. Is that only for, like, characters though? Or can I download, like, skyboxes? Don't know how some of the stuff is there. No, I, I just tried Ma WoW Model Viewer because I knew that was the one that's been around since, like, Day Dot. For, like, all the machinima creators and stuff. Done. The people of Drustbar are safer thanks to you. Quick. Congratulations to Dupe, Zombie, Draz, Jason, Vu, and Meaty on all of your bonus shit. Let's go up. Mm -hmm. uh, this is. Hmm. Oh, the edges of the maps are getting a bit glitchy. Funnily enough. Okay. Um, I can't place my monk again. Maybe we go flag bearer and see how many assists I can get with that. So Narcissus is an add-on. Character info transmog sharing photo mode achievement panel. Um, so that's for great screenshots, but I'd still have to go in-game to the zone to get the screenshot. I'm thinking more I can just pull up Ashenvale's skybox while not even logged in. I don't actually have to go there. Ah, okay. Never mind. Oh well. Hey, worth a shot, right? Worth a shot. Ah, uh, right. No, 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 no. 
Annihilate the crab. It's so fun to like do to do along with the music. I don't know why, it's just really nice. See if I can find them, it might just be a texture. It might just be a texture. Yeah, if they were all stored in like one particular folder just as fucking JPEGs, that would be great. <laughs> Something tells me they're not, but like if they were, holy cow, that would just be awesome. Excuse me. God, I still remember, like, back when I used to attempt to mod The Sims and stuff like that, getting, like, trying to create custom, um, like, outfits and stuff, and when you get the skin of the person just kind of pfft, flat on the end, it's like, God, it's so terrifying, like, before it gets wrapped around the wire mesh and stuff. Oh, so weird. So terrifying. You <laughs> You're unbelievably good at this. Has anyone ever told you that, Jack? This endless battle threatens the refugees and Aram's stand. Thin the enemy's <clears throat> actual skyboxes. As in not just a JPEG file, or...? I wonder if I'd be able to open that file with the WoW model viewer, though. Like, if you found the file, if you can... Hey, Ezekiel, welcome back. How are you going? Good. <laughs> Brilliant. We've got two new sound commands as of today. Everyone's had a pleasant Let day. Let me confer oh. with my sources. No. I think I need to turn that one down. It feels like it's louder than the other ones. By like a fair bit. Hmm. What was the one Jack was mentioning? Yep. That the the dad girl one that we just had, that's Shiva's. Uh, and Jack's one's been uploaded too. We've currently got so in the in the sound command uh extension, there's only 20 uh, sorry, only 30 slots. And we've currently got 25 of them filled. So I think um, we might have to, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do there. The spirits of the ancients are at rest and the drust are in pieces. Well done. We might have to do one of those uh, like polls where you choose your three favorites and then, or, or your five favorites or something, and then the ones with the lowest number of votes get pulled from the extension or something. I don't know. Is that what we need? No. <sighs> Just leave it there. Dadgar one. Dadgar was one of the new ones, yes. Dadgar second one is wonderful and it's going to come in handy. Uh. Well done, Shiva. <sighs> I, can I just say that .ogg files are, will be the death of me? one day. Like, I fucking hate them so much. It's like, why can't you just be an mp3? Nothing can read a fucking OGG. Like, fucking loud. Anyway. Ah, I'm gonna tag you. You came out of luck. Ah, could've come in handy when Jeff was talking about not buying sauce. Oh dear. Oh, I wonder if I'll be able to do this one. Because it's got like a lot of health. Yeah, 
I think this one's gonna kill me. Oh well. It's okay, I can just flag that one as a no-go. It's a cold stone golem. Ignore. Uh, he's just holding out on the barbecue. Yeah, he forgot to pick it up, but that's okay. Little wonderful source combination is about to make an appearance. Always. Always. Review shopping night to tonight to ensure maximum chef squad time on Wednesday. I love that. That's amazing. I'm so excited for Wednesday, you lot. I am just so fucking keen. So fucking keen. You all better be here. Like, bang on start time. I swear to God. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. No from the same shot. Ah, oh, it's okay, Apathy. Not a problem. I'll just skip it. It's fine. No biggie. Makeup looks phenomenal. Aw, thank you, Seeker. It's the Azure Drake. Azure Drake. Mm, Mix mayo, tomato sauce, and Worcestershire. Make a pseudo thousand island dressing. So tasty. So tasty. I'm glad at the hype this suggestion has caused. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I really hope it goes super well because I feel like if it does, it's something we could stick into regular rotation. Shrimp cocktail sauce? Yeah. Shrimp cocktail sauce is like, cause it's it's got that kind of, there's sweetness and there's like tang and all this, like it's just, it's good. It's good. Legend Munch Chap members. I love it. Love it. I, I also love that it's something that has like heavy twitch involvement, like well heavy twitch involvement, but that doesn't require any installation on your side. So you could literally just stumble on the stream and join in without having to go buy anything or download anything or it, like it, 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 all it takes is a chat, like being able to chat, you know? Um, right. So we've done those. I'm going to head back. I'm going to switch to fear and we're going to go do, um, uh, Bit of a mommy and kick. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Hire me indeed. I think it's going to take us all a little bit to kind of adjust to what the fuck is going on, but, um, It'll be great, I'm sure. And there's like a there's a video in the game that I can play that will teach you guys really succinctly how to play as well. So like, and it teaches me what I have to do and what you guys have to do. And then like every so often, you know, every few levels I can go back and play it again for anyone who's new in chat sort of thing. It'll be great. And you can customize your chefs. Like there's like a 30 second or so period where they'll be like, four or so four or five different chefs and those four or five people have 30 seconds to customize themselves and then it moves to the next batch and stuff like that as well so like you can tell where you are obviously i'll be saying things like okay seeker i'm gonna get you over here to chop tomatoes and blah 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 but you can see where you are and what your command is and stuff so that's good and it it guide it guided me I, I launched the game just to see what was going on and it guided me through setting up my overlays and everything like to make sure that i won't be blocking any important parts of the ui and yeah it's gonna be good it's gonna be really good <clears throat> okay nashita Your name is above your avatar in game two. Yeah, but I mean, having to scan the whole kitchen trying to find where you are is <laughs> will cost you like, you know, important seconds. Right, so after we do Najatar, I need to head back to Corthia for Malbog. From now on, I will do Malbog with the other batch of Corthians. Well, there's only one now because I've got melee. Um, bum, bum, bum. 
Okay. So I'm gonna... Where is it? Unshackled. Show his experience bar. Nothing! It's fine. 4% of the way to Paragon Cash. It's fine. Totally fine. Uh, that's your PvP one, so I'm not gonna, not gonna do that. And we have this You're one. A for sore eyes. United, we will... And then we have the conch. I've already got one at 30 now. Um, so I think I'm gonna work on Poen next. Because Neri has a mount, but that's, Neri is the equivalent of Hunter Arcana, who we're leveling up on Alliance side, so we'll get that mount soon anyway. <clears throat> nah. It's great to see you. No one left behind. What's this? Chant weapon force multiplier. I only need umber shots, so that's good. Have anything oh, no. ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. I need a few more than I thought. What? Yeah, okay. Oh, because I'm making two. Right, okay. That makes sense. Hmm. Time, I got caught in some seaweed while fleeing from the Naga, but Mac showed up and saved me. We've been best friends ever since. If you find anything Greetings, exotic, sir, bring it. And, uh, ma'am. Hmm. Is yep. Yeah. Go and now. Craft. Something on your mind? You need me, you know what to find right. me. I think it's actually, yeah, it's an unshackled what's it called today. So we're going to get a chunk of rep anyway, which is very tasty. Um... Oh, it's a free for all. Join that. Okay, I can't do the boss, but I can. That sounds like a door being bonked. Hello. Hey, Fub. Is Lem and her maid Zatsiki and veggies. Oh god, that smells really good. Thank you. Oh. Oh, did you test it? Yes. <laughs> Fair. Your How piece is it? also bigger than mine, so... Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it because there was a massive bone in the middle of mine. Ah, uh, right. I mean, there's a bone in there. Well, yeah, but like... Mm. How is it? Really fucking good. Good. Mmm. Damn It seems you get it when you- No, I've lost multitudes of times. I've lost free for plenty of times. See, look! Well done, Zam. Well done. It's just that when I say, I go, ooh, a free for all, and then I join it, a whole bunch of people tend to follow me in. So it makes it more fun. got a bad feeling about this. Be careful. We have a quest down here as well. I can't tell. Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> but if I had just bit the bullet and did two rounds of um, Najita every week, I'd probably have this mount by now. <laughs> oh well. When you get involved? Good! I'm glad. I'm glad. 
It's good to see you eating. I know tummy issues. I assume since you're drinking a ginger drink, can really sap the desire to eat anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, my stomach is empty. Um. So I really do feel like I need to put something in it. I'm. I'm very much like food is medicine. Um. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't take medicine, medicine as well. But your body can only use what you put into it. So I'm. I'm very much like give it a go. Um try to eat something and it's like sometimes all you feel like you can st stomach is like a slice of bread or something like that or crackers or whatever that's totally fine it's better than nothing um but fuck jazz is a really good cook <laughs> and i knew he was doing lamb tonight and i'm like yes I, I need that in my life um but also uh so it's lamb um it's steamed veggies which is fairly like that's fairly bland let's be honest um the lamb is not super bland um but there is like some fat and stuff in there which is which is good for um like keeping you feeling full even if you don't eat too much um and the sauce that, it, that we've got it's tzatziki but it's homemade tzatziki and it's made with coconut yogurt rather than like greek yogurt so it's not dairy um which is like super good for my belly so having yogurt so you know trying trying to restock some of those um prebiotics and, and all that kind of stuff that i removed um unintentionally um while also having it be really tasty and cucumber is just really cooling and stuff as well it's just really really nice and then green apple no. No. Oh, it's yellow. I couldn't. It looked green. I think maybe because of your shirt. <laughs> it looked kind of green. Ooh, is it? Is it? Is it grapefruit? No. Mmm. Lychee. Yes. Thank you. Is there topping in it? No. Oh. Because it's entirely too hot in the kitchen to keep cooking. Oh, that's okay. We don't have any jelly left. Left. I figure. I looked. That's okay. This is like damn it. Totally okay. We need to figure out a way to like preserve cook the some fruit yeah. balls. Yeah. So I don't like they're just gonna be crap though if we try to reheat them they're going to be crap I've tried doing it a couple of times and it just does not work properly but that's totally fair I do not hold that against you I think I'm done I am done I don't need to kill anything more down here good um, um headache still playing you today no However, I'm physically unwell. Baby, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm. There is something genuinely wrong with me at the moment. Like I'm actually physically sick. Um, to the extent that I considered cancelling stream today. That should kind of, you know, knowing knowing what I'm like, that should give you an idea of just how unwell. I've felt today. Um, so, yeah. Um, which is why Shiba was talking about the whole, like, glad to see me eating even though I'm not feeling great. So there's no headache, but um, my body physically, like, my digestive system was just like, uh, nah, fuck you. So, yeah, it's it's been interesting today. It's been interesting. Um, but I'm glad I've got ditched the headache. I'm just not particularly happy with what I traded it for. Ah, uh, I found probably the best you'll get. Wow Tools has most of the spy. Ah, oh, cool! Wow Tools! Alright, I'll have to... Wow Tools. Thank you, Jack! That's so, like, thank you so much for, like, putting in the, like, doing the research and stuff. I really appreciate that. Uh, does Fia or anyone in Fia's community not have the ANX mount? Ooh, good question. I've got it. But if anyone else in the community does not have the ANX mount, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's Phosphorescent Stone Drake. Is that the one? Maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but speak now or forever hold your peace. Mm. Panic tummy issues. Anything can set me off. Like I can have eggs one day and then suddenly eggs just don't agree with my body. Eating is so dang important. Definitely have those days where all I can manage is something like cheese on crackers. Yeah. And cheese on crackers is something that, like, if you can handle the dairy in the cheese, is something that's so good because it's got the fat and it's got the milk protein and it's got the carbs in the crackers. And, like, it's 
it's not 100% nutritionally balanced, but it does have enough of the, the kind of macros that you or your body kind of needs. Plus the, the fat from the cheese and stuff will at least fill you up a little bit, depending on how much of it you eat. Like it's, it makes you feel like you've got something in your belly for longer. It's a really good thing to have. If you can handle the cheese. If not, like just the crackers is fine. But like, yeah, definitely a thing. This music, yes. I considered leaving out the pearls because of the time. I really wanted a true representation of light cheese. The other flavor I have, yay! Amazing. Yeah, it's just, it's too damn hot. It, it's too damn hot. Um, and I do not begrudge Jas for not adding, because we've, we've run out of jelly. We've got a shitload of pearls left. Because when we get a bit lazy, we'll just put jelly and milk tea as well. But what that means is we've run out of jelly and we've got a ton of pearls. Yep. So, so you know, it's a little bit tricky. But we'll figure out. We'll figure it out. Uh, do not. But you. Oh no, Valorin. Oh no. Oh, excuse me. Apathy says me. I presume that's in response to tree. Good morning. One of my good members just got ashes. Ah, oh, congrats to them. Congrats to them. Ashes was a really fun one to farm. Never heard of it. So assuming I don't. Totally fair. Don't have that. Pixel doesn't have it. Which one is that? I'm uh, not too sure. Um, I yeah, I don't remember. But if you search it in your in your journal, it should come up as whether you have it or not. Just with Anx. Um, Whisper Triarchi Bartholus. There you go. It's the phosphorescent stone drake. There you go. Sad to say, I don't have it. There you go. So if you do not have the phosphorescent stone drake. Um, if you're not able to spell phosphorescent, just type in stone drake and it starts with P. So you'll be able to find it that way. Um, Whisper Triarchi Bartholus. I believe that they may have a spawn. Wiggly eyebrows. Super kind of you to offer tree. Thank you so much for making that like available to people. That's super cool of you. An awesome looking mount. It is beautiful. Do you need anything? It is beautiful. Hold on to hope. Have you ever swooped on a ray? It's outrageous! Oh my god, no. Shut up, Poen. No. You are wrong. Bad. Um, I don't have that option. Jelly freaks out my sensory. I'll have to buy poppers. Totally fair. Totally fair. Uh, two more spots. Good evening, Trud. Is this to do a run? Yes! Tree has Anax up, I'm presuming. Um, so anyone who kills it is guaranteed the mount. It's not a chance to drop, it is a you get it. It's one of those ones you have to camp for fucking hours and it has a shitload of different spawn points and all this kind of stuff. So if you do not have the phosphorescent stone drake, Triarchi Bartholus has a spawn for you, but there are limited spots available. Because you cannot, I don't believe you can do it in a raid. I think it has to be a party from memory. Oh, damn, I don't kind of remember how to get to Deep Home these days. There's a portal in Orgrima or, well, um, yeah, Orgrima, considering that I you won't be able to get into the group unless you're Horde, I believe. Uh, <laughs> I'm EU, thanks so much, but you're on US. Um, I am, yes, but I'm assuming that Tree also is. Um... Head up this way a little bit. Um, portal circle thing, Becca Org, that random island, and Stormwind. Right, okay, they ripped it in. This is the second time I dropped for them. Was farming for trees. More got a new character. Oh no. Well, if you want one for yourself, just gotta go farm it. Take some effort. Take some fucking patience with KT's goddamn fucking RP. But at least it's only a one in one hundred. It could be worse. Could be so much worse. Um, guess where I am usually where most people from Camper Code are holiday. It's a day for the win. Did see in the Discord your clue would have led me to conclusion anyways. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um Oh no, oh no, I fell. Um, I was thinking of a spay. It's in the ACT. Um, we had a family friend who lived in Bates Bateman's Bay. 
think I've been there a couple times. Hello, friend. From memory. Oh, did that not turn in? Oops. How can I be of help? Never there we go. Alright, turned it in. On to the next one. When are you on a Wednesday? 31 attempts so far! Oh, look at that. Just started. How many characters are you running on, Nutty? You're a sight for sore eyes. We have so many free people in New Home that we need to gather more food! Ha <laughs> ha, this is great! Group is full! Congratulations, everyone! Best of luck! I mean, best of luck. It's a guaranteed drop, you'll be fine. But, like, well done. And thank you again so much, Tree, for the generosity in posting here. That's amazing of you. Thank you so much. It's scary if you're not in camera, but still ACT. Oh, dear. Hmm. Speaking of the Discord. I'm so lazy. I don't like meat on the bone is just so frustrating. <laughs> Let me grab a chunk of it and dunk it in stuff. Don't make me work for it. Mmm. Completely unrelated going to Deep Home to work on Lawmaster. Enjoy. Deep Home was a really fun in like zone to level through, in my opinion. I mean, coincidental, potentially. Yeah, I'm such an awesome mutant. Aww. That's so sweet of you, Tree. Meat on the bone is best. Look, I know it adds more flavor and, and all that kind of stuff. Like, I get that. But it's just so fucking finicky to eat. So finicky to eat. I'd much prefer something like Shanks. Where you, like, you cook it on the bone, but then when you go to serve it, it just falls off the bone. So you can just kind of pull the bones out and toss it away. Don't have to, like, work the knife in around the bone and shit. You know? I haven't eaten it like a caveman. No, but I've got, I've got tzatziki to, to dip it in and shit. Like, that'll just get messy, and then I'm gonna get, like, grease and and sauce and all that kind of stuff all over my mouse and keyboard and no thank you. Absolutely not. Um, absolutely not. If I was like eating at the table or something, then sure. But no, I'm, I'm eating at my PC. I'm not making a mess. <laughs> but also, yeah, it's, it's, it's just like a, a lamb chop thing, not a... Yeah. Kind of hard to eat that off the bone because there's so many like little bones and stuff and you kind of go yeah, nibble around them. Still too finicky. <clears throat> Yay, average! But now I've just been running out on the one, go through stages of running raids, dungeons, and watch characters weekly and suddenly just every other week on one. Fair enough. Totally fair enough. Yeah, that's like when I, when I, back when I was doing my, um, like, Mount Farms and stuff, I would do... If I was farming for a drop, I would, I would only ever farm one. Like a drop from a raid, I'd only ever farm one mount at a time, but I'd do it on all the tunes I had. And that was enough for me. Once a week, one mount a week, that was it. Helped with the sanity. Uh, congrats to I, Draz, Dono, Fairy, Z, and View on all your bonus shit. Well done. Mmm. Congrats to all the lucky people indeed, Tree. If I go. Mmm. Look. Greasy keyboard doesn't help anybody. <laughs> it just makes it so icky and gross. Up we go. One assist. Damn it. Yeah, I 
think it'll still still give this a go. This has got to be the worst fucking quest. The drop rate is terrible on Fathom Flesh, and it is every week. Send him about our tools. What you do to access Skybox is what not to look at. Thank you. I appreciate that. Interesting that it hooked that down to the ground rather than to where I was. The king's rest, yes. <laughs> Found the groups with the big ones were by far the best for drops. Mm, okay. Have I killed all the groups and they just haven't respawned? Or so, I mean, there's a big one there, but there's no like group with it. Maybe we try it anyway. <clears throat> I dropped one. One, but no group. It's a group of little baby ones. Game of numbers, right? Hey, there we go. It's like up top, southeast. Ah, okay. Ready. United. We will Wasn't a bad little group, though. Low lock chest. Those small ones just didn't want to drop them for me. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Oh, um. <laughs> um, what is this? Okay, she despawned. Totally fine. Fuck it. Can't be fucked. Oh no, they all despawned. Okay, that's fine. Mm, yeah, <laughs> the wire thing. Yeah. The circuit design tutorial at least is trickier than the, the laylock chests. The chests are just like boring. Ajara incubates entire armies within her vile hatcheries. Ensure that the eggs never reach their destination. <clears throat> you super excited about those coins, Seeker? I 
super excited they're working. Good. It's raid time. It's raid no me time. Jara to swell her ranks with such aberrations. Well done. Go to kick off the ground and baby tune cannot fly. Yeah, you, like and it just kind of jumps or it does the mount special. And you're like, oh, oh. <clears throat> it's great to see you. We've got your back. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 Yep. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Zam with your singular coin! Oh my god. That's hilarious. That one's off the section with flying trainers and all. Just learnt level 20 speed not for- Oh no! And so you like jump to your death. Oh no. Gonna shove that coin in your nose. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's great. A few baby tune that had flying before the squish, so are now below level 30 but can still fly. Yep, it's perfect, eh? It's so good. Laugh my ass off. Hey, your fight night, how you doing? Hi, the sun well. <gasps> Sean! Oopsie. Ten months! My goodness! Thank you so much for the resub! Hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, that's right. I have to do the thing. I forgot about that. A splendid effort. Your skills remain as sharp as ever. Out of here and we get mounted up. 
So I guess I had the hand of a Mithra mount in my inventory. I did not much research. It's quite hard to get, or I'm not sure. No idea. I haven't. I don't know about any of the hand mounts. Sorry. Someone has to put a stop to those Naga. And right now, that's um, but yeah, checking it you... like on any of the websites, like any of the websites, will be able to tell you. No idea. <clears throat> Imagine if it accidentally popped into your bags. It's probably not a super difficult one with like precise steps that you need to follow or something like that. It's probably just one of the ones from the um from a cache or something. Yeah, tricky ones you tend to be aiming for them specifically. But <laughs> beyond that, no idea. Um, isn't that from doing really hard mythic quest dungeons? Uh, no, the, um, the KSM's not a hand mount. It's, a uh, like a swirly death tornado one. I shouldn't have watched it. I just saw a previous thing on Reddit. A robot singing la 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 in a completely empty mall. That is a little bit trippy. It's a cool mount, though, indeed. Indeed. <clears throat> Okay. And this one. Oof, Zanja Armaments. I hate this one. Annoying. It's a drop from Tormentors of Torghast. There you go. Yeah, there's a handful of hand mounts, and they're all named really similarly, hey? Drop, if I remember correctly. Well, there you go. Easy, Brilliant. Nilganamat is the one you need to click various things for the more for. Yeah. Yep. That rang. That definitely rings a bell. I think I've got half the shit for that one. Just not the other half of the shit. <laughs> I'll get to it. I will get there eventually. Presta Morak is the Sword Glory Achieve, and Salaranga is from the Breaking the Chains Achieve. Just while I was looking, of course. Thank you for the info. Estimations on how much of that I will retain. Three percent, zero percent. I love that Seek is giving me some credit. Like, that just makes, yeah, mm -hmm, makes my heart happy. <laughs> Yori's just like, nah, fuck this bitch. Like, Too 
trying not to make screechy noises on the plate because I know how horrible that is. It's horrible for me. I can't imagine how horrible how horrible it would be for you guys through the microphone and everything. Am I wrong? You're not. If you're changing someone important, you try your hardest to retain when it's something you can literally Google. Yeah, nah. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I do not need to remember this because firstly, I'm not working on any of those mounts. And secondly, when I do start to work on them, I will look them up. In fact, I don't even have to look them up. I'll be on Data for Azeroth and it'll be like, go get this mount. And I'll be like, okay. And I'll click it and it'll tell me how to get it. Like, <laughs> it's just that easy. Excuse me. To the cave. Uh-oh. It's 3%. I, I will recall that they exist, essentially. Oh, shit, I didn't do the cave, did I? Oops. <clears throat> the, um, the, what's it? I didn't do the Mud Eva's lab. Not even an hour later, same good moment. It's Raven Lord, they need to share this RNG lab. Well, go go take it, Nutty. Go farm your shit. Go, go farm something that you want. Put it out to RNGs. So many memories about things that happened in my childhood because I didn't need it anymore. Fallen Charger and Tormentors of Torghast hand mount. I didn't really care for, so they dropped easily for me. How else will I retain things like the lyrics to the Aladdin songs, etc.? Exactly. Hey, Lord. Mmm. Uh, have lamb for dinner with some homemade tzatziki and steamed veggies. It's delicious. Really, really tasty. Just lots of bone on the lamb chop, so I'm trying to get around it. So that's okay. We got there. We got there. The meat is now free of the bone, and now I just need to chop the meat into mouth-sized pieces. Duncan and Sipsy. Oh, and Storm! Adorable. everything except for my diva's lab um i don't know if i actually have i think i might have accidentally sold the um the stuff oh no looks like i've got two earth and three water Longomass <clears throat> takes fire and fire, neither of which I have, but watery, scroll of violent tides um, is fine, and watery is just one water, so I can I can do that. <clears throat> So 
So I saw a trick for making tzatziki the traditional way yesterday. Apparently straining the yogurt, not just the cucumber, to remove excess water before combining ingredients makes it smooth and creamy but less wet. That makes sense. Don't you hate it when a strand of celery gets caught in your teeth like a piece of dental floss? Fucking hate that. I also fucking hate celery though, so I mean... Which kind of makes sense. More cheesy, yeah. Yep. Don't eat celery, problem solved. I hate celery. Let's see, your first mistake was even putting celery in your mouth. The only time I actually like celery is when it's like chopped up real small and in like a soup, like a slow cooked soup. That shit is fucking delicious. But like just eating raw celery, no. No. The stringiness and have hated it since being here. I don't even like the taste of it. Like, the taste of it raw Ooh. is just, blah, it's drying and bleh. Um, personally, of course, uh, to each their own. But yeah, it just, oof. Right, so I only need one watery to get me a watery amalgamation. That's, wait. Why can't I talk to it? Didn't I? I've got. I'm so confused. What just happened? Why can't I? There we go. Scroll of what's it? Scroll of violent tides. Let's do this. Hmm. <clears throat> so loves it too. He says love it is a snack. Blah, but it tastes like poop. It tastes horrid. So loves the fruit cereal and leeks. Same here. Put it in the garbage to each their own. But if that is your own, then you're wrong. Pretty much. Pretty much. A different uh, celery, not cereal. Ah, looks like I'm resetting my order correct again. That's okay. Look, I know the feels. I know the feels. <clears throat> All right, let's return and turn in a bunch of shit. There's a pee in my tzatziki. But it's green, so it blends in. <laughs> Ants on a log, by that point, it's just a vector for peanut butter and raisins. Exactly. Exactly. I'd just rather stick them both in a sandwich and be done with it. Well, out with it. Stay sharp. Oh, what do I miss? Oh, I haven't killed a rare. <clears throat> that makes me feel a little bit silly. I haven't seen any up either, actually. That being said. Prince Vortran was up. Is Prince Vortran down here? Yeah. Okay. Let's go see if Prince Vortran's still up because he can drop me my pet as well. Ah, uh, my friend knows well enough that to know I would never type celery on purpose. Look. Look. Celery belongs in the same category as crabs. Like just because someone accidentally ate it doesn't mean people should keep doing it. All right. It's definitely got a place when it's overcooked to shit in soup. But that's it. An enormous beast that's from it. The Lay it before it can reach our encampment. <clears throat> and I actually quite like celery salt as a seasoning, but um, again, mostly in soup. But yeah, not uh, not actual celery. <clears throat> Ok, 
capsicum is significantly more edible than celery. Yeah, if you drown it in cheese and then bake it until it practically disintegrates. Wow, oh, Purge deleting some tunes. Oh my god, Seiko! Deleting tunes! I'll do with Link's when you get that squeaking sound. Stick him in a super pie and I'm fine. Fair. No pet, but that's okay. <clears throat> Return this last quest in. Uh, and we will definitely not get a Paragon Cache, but we're a whole lot closer than we were before. 34%. There's like no seeker, no delete, only level. Yeah. Unless they're on like the wrong server. In which case, delete and recreate and level. You're waiting for a welcome map? Okay. Yep, 34% to Paragon. Um... Oh, where am I? Oh shit, I have a voice changer thing. G I think G-Hub's working now. I think after the restart, that fixed it. Which is the plan? Good. Only delete when I finish all classes of a particular race and get the achievement! Ah. Oh. Even then, I just, I couldn't. I couldn't. Where am I going? Go there. I forgot it was booked yesterday. It was, but I think the multitudinous resets I did today trying to fix this bloody file that won't delete. I think it fixed it. To the city of secrets. I'm actually the super ship. I'm just following the actual buffer. Yeah, 
Jules. <laughs> it's a voice modifier. Have you ever seen? Excuse me. Cool. And then that one. And we're gonna go to Tolbarad. Um. So the had a file that wasn't deleting. I had that problem. The file was never that large. Couldn't delete or move them out of the folder. End up moving everything else and renaming the folder so I'd ignore it. No, I need to get rid of it. I need to actually delete it. I can't understand anything with this voice. Well, it's over now for you. Uh, Malbog, get well done. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's okay. I've only got nine attempts and it's not exactly a super, super, super common mount. Um, what is it? It's a 1 in 100, so 1% is, is fine. Like, I'm totally fine with that not dropping at 8 attempts, 9 attempts. Um, next time! It's fine! Solution from command line used to be a way around Windows being silly. No idea if that helps on Windows 10 or 11, though. Um, I also don't know how to do that. Uh, if you could drop any, like, actual, like, instructional advice in Discord, that'd be super useful. Like, super useful. It'll just get lost in chat, unfortunately. Um... <laughs> I'll bog not get that's okay. Next time. Always next time. Yeah, it's it's to the point like um I moved the first file. Couldn't sorry, I moved the second file, couldn't delete the first file even with that extra space, but I was able to delete the second file off the external hard drive. So I tried moving the first drive, and it's been sitting there now for close to six hours. And it's still saying 0% calculating time remaining. So, like, I think the file is bought. I think it's, like, corrupted or something. Um, I'm going to run, like, a check disk overnight. Because um, I, I can't, like, I need my PC. <laughs> I can't run a check disk during the day because I need to be doing shit. I need to work. Um, but I can do it overnight and just see if it picks anything up. Uh, I missed it. What file we're talking about? Yeah, the large file fear couldn't delete. I posted about it in general chat in the Discord in case you want a little bit of background. Uh, Jason, Spam, Chaos, Channel, Buoy, and Meaty, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. It's boss fight time. Now, I'm also in Tolbarad, which means that once this is done, next step is Island Expeditions. So if anyone is keen to join in with that, that's what's coming up next. <clears throat> Alright, it's alliance controlled as well, so we're not going to have the extras, but that's fine. And it's still the same fucking quest, they haven't rotated it again. These, these are, they're so fucking bugged, and every time I've put in a ticket about it, they're just like, check the, you know, check fan pages for more information about how these quests work. I'm like, I know how they work, they're broken! <laughs> They're fucked. They haven't rotated in like years, literally. Oh, whatever. Um, yes, islands after this. Hey, Akram. Took me 24 attempts on that mount. There you go. American servers. Um, oceanic servers, same region, they are the same region, but um, I play on oceanic servers because uh, the ping is better.
America servers, can I join on my mum's team? She literally has zero amounts from it. Uh, it depends on how many people we've got. It depends on how many people want to join in. But if we have enough people who want to do it, we might actually be able to get two groups going. You can do island solo. Um, it's just that they run a little bit faster if you do multiple people. But yeah, you can 100% run them by yourself if you so desire. Good morning, Exo. How's Mount Hunt going? Uh, I got melee today, so that's one down. Sitting on 631 mounts total. So not too bad. Not too bad. Um, probably shouldn't admit to a mount count sharing. Uh, it's fine, as long as it's one parent with one child. Nope, it's in the toss. Um, the only account sharing that is allowed is a parent with their child. Um, however, that being said, um, I don't know what the age restriction is on that child. And if you are under the age of 13, you should not have a Twitch account because it is against Twitch's toss. So just kinda pretty sure they don't allow account sharing between parents and adult children. It's um like kids, like children, children. <clears throat> But yeah, no, account sharing is definitely not allowed, but it has always been, like, a parent can share an account with one of their children. So if you've got, like, two parents and two kids, one parent can share with one of the children, and the other parent can share with the other child. But they have to be children. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like, unable to have their own account kind of thing, usually. Um, but yeah, it's a... It's a thing. Uh, I had to go through my screenshots, 27 to get Malbog for me. Ah, oh, nice, pretty sure Happy got it at like six attempts. That's wicked. That's so good. Also, I'm down for islands. Uh, how is, is it possible to detect that? Uh, detect what exactly, Jax? Are you talking about the account sharing between parents and kids, or are you talking about the having a Twitch account under the age of 13? Um, it used to be 18 for WoW, well, not sure recently. Um, different login points. What do you mean both really? Okay, so um, firstly, talking about it publicly. <laughs> um, account sharing, yeah, if you're account sharing and you don't live in the same household, like if you have a kid that lives elsewhere and you've got them constantly logging in from two different points of place, um, Blizzard can track like obviously like the IP that you're logging in from and they can flag it as suspicious activity and it can get the account banned. Um, it can get banned for account sharing, that kind of stuff. Um, there And then with the... Twitch thing. Um, people absolutely lie when they're creating accounts and they put in fake birthdays and stuff like that. But um, children are fucking stupid. Children are fucking stupid. And eventually they will start talking about how I've done all this and I'm only 11. And then we ban them and report them for being underage. Because uh, especially like it, as, as a streamer, if somebody speaks in your chat and claims to be under the age of 13, you should be banning them and you should be reporting them. Because Twitch is not a safe place for children. It is simply not a safe place for kids. There are some, there are some streams that are family friendly, that, you know, don't have swears and don't discuss big topics and all that kind of stuff. But there is a reason that Twitch has an, like an age limit on their accounts and it's because it's not a safe place. If a child under the age of 13 is watching Twitch, they should be doing it with parental supervision. That's why they have that that thing there. So that, you know, parent can watch with child using parent's account. And if something happens that the kid has questions about, the, the adult can explain it in age appropriate language, that kind of shit. Um, which a streamer can't, you know, I mean, some streamers may be able to do it, but let's, let's be honest, my vast majority probably aren't gonna be able to. Um, yeah, uh, and then as a as a Twitch partner, I am obligated to report and ban 
anyone who comes in and says like, I, I have to moderate my chat. It is part of our contract. It's part of the, to the, the fucking toss for streamers that you have to moderate your chat and you have to enforce Twitch's community guidelines in your chat. And one of the community guidelines is that users should not be under the age of 13. So if someone comes in, we've, we've had someone like I, you know, I, I think someone dropped some kind of like really juvenile insult. And I said, what are you like 12? And if you are, you shouldn't be on Twitch. And they said, no, I can be, I'm almost 13. No, you can't. You can be as soon as you hit your 13th birthday, sweetheart, but not before you turn 13. Absolutely not. And so I banned them. I let them know. I said, you can't do that. It's against the terms of service. So I banned them and I reported them to Twitch because we have to. So yeah, I mean, obviously each individual streamer is going to make their own decisions about that kind of shit. But I don't want to fucking lose my income and my fucking business because some child <laughs> decided to display their age in a fucking Twitch chat on the internet. It's so not worth it. So not fucking worth it. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, one from Relevant Gun, I got my first attempt call through. It was great on Jeremy for the energy, oh, for the RNG. Nice. Yeah, I don't think, I, I mean, I got, um, Controgs on attempt number three, but I think that's the only one I've got so far, but I haven't really been trying either. So, so I mean, you know, that plays a part. That plays a big part. Um, I've been aiming for the, the other mounts, the older ones that I'm yet to achieve. I'll get there. I'll get there. Ah, uh, got mine quickly. Don't know how many attempts don't track that. Rarity will do it for you. I don't actively track it. Thank Rarity for screenshotting things. Yes, exactly. Oh, fear. I did a little archaeology the other day. Real fun mantid method in Pandaria. I figured it'd take me a while. Three attempts later, I got the fossilized raptor. Well done. Well done. The only thing I'll be real, like, like you're super honest with you about, if you're if you're trying to get all the archaeology achievements, do not use the mantid method until you have everything from Panda uh, from um, Panda and Mogu, because otherwise you'll be stuck at the end with everything mantid done, but still trying to and then every time you end up with four fucking dig sites fermented because the rng has worked that way you have to go buy a fucking reset thing like it's just not worth it only use the the mantid thing if you've run out of panda uh, panda and um, mogu solves to do uh, achievements to do more appropriately um otherwise yeah it'll just like so many people i've spoken to have massively regretted it once they've decided and like after a while to go for the rest of them it just makes it so much more difficult. Oh, I remember installing Grinder when I was 15, continuously talking about how I'm 15 and then getting banned for a limit. Yeah, don't do that. That's like, good lord. Good fucking lord. Um, like that's literally how to get sexually assaulted by a fucking pedophile. Don't do that. Not okay. Like there are, there are as as much as you think it's fucking annoying as a, a young person to have all these age restrictions on like fucking social media and all this. There's fucking good reasons for all of it. Not just so the company's protecting their asses, but they're also trying to protect literal children. And there's only so much they can do. Just fuck, man. It's really not that hard to just wait. Good lord. Ah, uh, last one of the drop map from Risen Core through Zerlik. Nice. Awesome. I wasn't even thinking of the achieves, to be honest. Just the mountains and pets. Yeah, the, the achieves are difficult. The, the Pandaria achieves are like... I have never been so pleased to be done with an achievement and not, not kind of the excited way, just the thank fuck that's done kind of way. And honestly, like, because there's, you know, there's, when it gets too easy, it's like, oh, cool, that's done. On to the next one. Then there's the, oh my god, yes, it finally happened. And then there's the, yeah, I'm so fucking done with this thing. Fuck, that's finished. Like, you know, it kind of transitions between the three of, the, like, from one to the next to the next. And the, yeah, those achievements were definitely in the latter category. It just, it sucked. Three fucking layers of RNG. It, it took me months. Literally months of like <laughs> doing hours of archaeology a day. This was before I really kind of went all in with streaming and, and, you know, worked at it like a fucking business. 
but it yeah it took me actually months of literally hours every single day of getting that shit done it sucked it fucking sucked <clears throat> archaeology achievements are torture look some of them are a lot easier like the the bfa ones were pretty breezy they like it felt like the drop chance for the pristines had been jacked up and it like you you know you only had two different races and it was they had their own fucking continents and all that kind of like it was just i feel like they finally figured out the the breeziest way to get it done sort of thing but god the pandaria ones the mop ones were just shit absolute fucking trash Miners really like invading adult spaces, then screaming that it isn't miner friendly. Yeah, because it's an adult space. Of course it's not miner friendly. There are minor spaces. The problem is when you have miners who think they're fucking adults and go, Oh, but that's a space for babies. I want to go to the grown-up place. The grown-up place is not safe for you, sweetheart. There is a reason why you are still considered a miner. You may be smart. Like, you may be very intelligent, you may be very mature for your age. You are not an adult. Go with honor. Sub, sub. The amount of stupid Down. shit I did when I was younger. Good lord. Speak, friend. Go forth to victory. It just... What you... <sighs> I'm glad that there are so many more, like, things in place oh, to prevent oh, that kind oh, of shit oh, from oh. happening, because fuck, man, it was not a... It was dangerous as hell. Um... All right, top row accommodations, I've got 88. I need 165, so I'm not quite there yet. Uh, but you know what that means. Island expeditions. Now we had uh, quite a few people who were interested, so let's do... Um, island expeditions. Exclamation join if you would like to jump in with us and hopefully we'll get enough to run two groups. Something has spooked one of the Brutosaurs, sending it into a panic. Oh, this chaos is... I used to moderate a video chat room. Many didn't expect the shoe check. Write down your username. Hold that up to your camera with a shoe on your head. I love it. Could to prove it's you, so you can't just pull a picture of an adult from the internet. Yeah, it's fantastic. Little things like that are, like, really, really useful. <clears throat> Finish those last year was so relieved. Oh my god. 23 now, I've learned my lesson. And yet you still have so many more lessons to learn. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean any insult by that. I, I, I like absolutely mean that from, from the best of places. I'm about to turn 32. Um, so like, look. <laughs> my early 20s were a, uh, a, an interesting time. And I learned so much. And I'm still learning. And, and like, it's just... Oh, good lord. The world is an interesting place. An interesting place. If you want to do island expeditions, exclamation join to join the queue. I don't care. None of this bull, like, oh, I'll let somebody else join. No, none of that shit. If you want to do it, join the queue, and we'll get a couple of groups going. <clears throat> the parents start screaming about it. Yep. Yeah. And it's like... Your child lied about their age to get into this platform. Like, we've done as much as we can. What the fuck else do you expect us to do? We're not going to make every single space PG-13. Piss off. Like, there is a reason my streams are flagged for mature audiences. Some of the topics we talk about are fucking heavy. Did you have a number in your name before Mandela Effect? Uh, me? Yeah, I was Fiamma29. And then I made partner. Did the Seeker of Knowledge achievements during many officer meetings with my guild? Beautiful. I really like the background lightings. Is it Nanoleaf? It is. It is Nanoleaf panels, yeah. I went as many times over on TikTok where there would be adult spaces on it and miners would insert themselves into it. 
give off such snarky attitude and then play, but I'm a minor when they get the same energy back. <laughs> yeah, well, if you can give it, you should be able to take it, Sugar Pie. In a king's rest? Okay. Mm. Between five and still learning, it never stops. Oh, fuck yeah. Never ever stops. You have to be on the US. Yes, you need to be in the US, the NA slash OCE region. If you can't group with me, you can't do this. I mean, you can do it solo because solo island expeditions are a thing that are available now. So you can absolutely go do them by yourself, but you won't be able to join the group. Um, Kim is asking if anyone wants to do Alliance Islands. <clears throat> that time we go down the list. Let's get earlier and join then. Absolutely. Uh, hey, Ilthan. I have a question. What covenant is your mage? Venthyr. Just curious. Yeah, Venthyr. Um, I don't do min maxi bullshit. Um, I picked it because I'm a fucking vampire. When they announced the expansion and showed the covenants, they're like, here is Venthyr, and I'm like, oh, that's me, I'm a vampire. I'm like, here is Nightfay. I'm like, yep, I'm still a vampire. Here is Kyrian. I'm still a vampire. Here is Maldraxxus. Here are Necrolords. I, I'm still a vampire. Like, and I have not changed my mind since. So, <laughs> nothing to do with min-maxing or any of that shit, just because I am a vampire. Paladin. Remember now. Do you reckon Guy likes applesauce? That's an interesting question. Is Let me confer with my sources. It's so loud. No. I'm turning it down. It's entirely too loud. <clears throat> it was already at 60% as well. There we go. Ah, my main has been there as well. Amazing. Uh, I mean, it's been there for the exact same reason, lol. Hi, the sun well. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, cats, thank you so much for the resub. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for your generosity and support. Stopping around to get the various mounts and transmogs. I have four 60s, one in each covenant at the moment. And I'm gonna, as I level more of them, I'm gonna have one of each armor type in each covenant. So everything will be covered anyway. Worst character to level in your 50-50s. Uh, priest. Followed closely by uh, rogue. I dropped a pee. Hmm. One of each to collect everything, always a vampire at heart. Exactly. Exactly. It's definitely warrior. I don't mind warrior at all. Um, warriors don't die as easily as, um, again, what's it? Rogues. And the rotation for shadow beasts is just shit. Everything takes so long to do anything. Hmm, the Venthyr transmogs are incredible. They're beautiful. Absolutely awesome. And they're exactly my aesthetic as well, so I'll take it. For some reason, Feral Druid is such a struggle. I love Druid. It's so much fun. Everything just dies. Everything melts. It gets slashed to ribbons. Hmm. See, I level as Feral, not as Bear, and I find it quite easy. I do, keep in mind that I do use Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, so I don't, like, learn rotations and shit. I just have a one-button macro. <laughs> Pull everything and press swipe a lot, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Did you have a goth phase when you were younger? No. I, I've 
none of anything that I've done has been a phase. Like, I can- I, I've rocked up as goth fear on stream, I've done, like, pastel sparkly fear, I've done- like, none of its phases. It's just, I have the ability to do this, and I'm gonna do it today. Like, none of its phases. It's just what feels good on a day. Zombie Raptor! Hey! Fantastic! Now to actively avoid the mechanics! Ah, oh, fingers rogue, this should run for me oddly. Oh, dearie me. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> Feral leveling isn't massively fast. Combination DPS with okay self heal. Yep, pretty consistent for gaining experience. Yeah. Yeah, the self heal really does make a difference. Makes a big one. Okay, so. I've got four people in queue. Two of whom are subs. Um, so what I'm going to do is take the subscribers and I don't usually like, look, I don't offer a whole lot for my subs, except for like, you know, the badge and the emotes and shit like that. We, we don't do a whole lot of sub based shit here. I used to say way back when that subs get priority for in-game invites and things, but it got, because of the size that the stream was back then, there was no point in doing that because I used to be able to scrap I used to be able to scrape together a group and that was that. And then we ended up with flex raids and stuff like that, so I could take literally whoever I wanted to anyway. Excuse me, and make a massive ass raid if we really wanted to and take everyone. Um, which was great. But then when you have stuff like this, when it's a smaller group and you have more people and you are gonna be able to put two together, um, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna pull Shiba and Chaos in. Once Apathy is done with their King's Rest run, I'll get you to jump in a group with Jason, and the two of you can run. Um, and if we get another, if we get a third for the second group, then we can do that. But this way, at least they'll both run reasonably quickly, uh, and we'll kind of we'll go from there. And we'll just see, like, if people need to go to bed and stuff like that, we can shuffle things as we go. Um, yeah, well, for a lot of know what you're saying. Yeah, I look it. Honestly, I don't really. <laughs> there are so many streamers I watch who are like, yeah, we've got like sub game nights and we've got sub fucking movie nights and we've got blah, blah, blah. And I just don't have time to do shit off stream. I don't have time to do that kind of stuff. And um, I don't have like, it is, it like, yeah. It's kind of it's kind of sticky. Whenever I've tried to implement that kind of stuff, like every time I've tried to have like, yeah, it'll be a sub game night. Like all the subs who rock up just want to listen and no one wants to actually jump in. So it's like, cool, I'm gonna play by myself because I can't bring just I can't bring other people in because I said it was specifically like, it's just been so fucking awkward. So for years now, I haven't done any of that kind of stuff. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. But that's OK. Um, that's why I'm still fighting New just new pet. Ah, that's okay though. New pet is awesome. Congratulations. All right, so I do believe I have. There's a Shiba here, and there's chaos there. Pretty sure that's chaos anyway. <laughs> Looks like chaos. We'll see how we go. Right next to you. Well, I invited you in game. Um, nice hat. Thank you. It's very stylish, isn't it? Very stylish. Alrighty. Let's go. I forgot to check what caches we have available this week. Ah, uh, that's right. I'm just so excited to do islands, you guys. So excited. But I'm a noob. Uh, BFA, island expeditions. Bam. God, wouldn't it be nice to get some of the quest items? I only got two left to get that achievement, so that would be phenomenal. <clears throat> K 
keep getting duplicate pets of islands rather than my mounts. I've gotten so many duplicate pets, but some of them sell really well on the auction house, at least on my server. So definitely like hold on to them. If we want this demolisher to be of any use, we need to find So I'm not under concern, they won't sell mine. By pets of that AH, brilliant. I believe I'm still missing two battle pets. I don't know how I managed to do that. I remember pets can be sold on any server. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> Which pets am I missing? The adventurous hopling and the juvenile brine shell. But because um, we're on different servers, we won't be able to trade them, even if they do drop. I mean, I could just buy them, but I feel like I don't really want to until I've got most everything else, <laughs> you know? Because, <clears throat> I mean, they're bound to drop eventually. I, I betcha I'm going to get all the pets before I get all the mounts, so. Especially hoard only pets on Alliance, heavy server, or vice versa, yeah. Another buying until we have all the mounts. Exactly. Exactly. That's the plan. For the alliance. Guaranteed you buy one, then it drops while you mount farm. Exactly. Exactly. The, the number of times I've done that is just ridiculous. With like other shit, like um, the Ember Court and stuff. Yeah. Never buy shit till you got everything else. <laughs> Oops. Uh, what do you do? What do you like more, Island Expo Island Expeditions or Torghast? Or would you say they can't really be compared? They're so different. They're so different. They both have parts that are super fun and both have parts that are super not fun. Um, yeah, no, they're, they're entirely too different, I think. Um, but that's just my opinion and others are more than welcome to compare them if they so desire, of course. Uh, so you prefer being on the Alliance or Horde or do you not have a preference? Um, I've been Horde for longer, but it's because that's where my friends have been. Uh, I now have 30 Horde tunes and 20 Alliance tunes, just because I wanted the split to be 10, like at, at the 10, um, because of uh, lockouts, instance lockouts, um, like the, lo the 10 instances per hour limit is server based rather than account based. So if you've hit 10, but you have characters on a different server, you can switch servers and keep going and do another 10 and then switch back if it takes you like half an hour to do 10. Um, which is what I'm going to be doing for Lovers in the Air, for the Heartbreaker farm. Uh, so I'll do 10 Horde, 10 Alliance, we're on a different server, back to 10 Horde, do a 10 Alliance, back to 10 Horde. And that's my 50. Um, so, yeah. I don't, I don't, like, there are definitely some things I like better about the Alliance. Um, but I'd say my heart's probably with the Horde just because of how many fond memories I have while playing Horde. I prefer islands 100% just because islands have more rewards. Fair. Totally fair. I do indeed definitely have far more. Uh, what's it? We are almost done. You are doing well. Thank you, Resikun. <laughs> 
So I guess 9.0 just felt like it needed a ton more dev time for the progression of rewards. Yeah. Yeah. the talent tree thing and stuff that they ended up bringing in. That's super cute. Like, a lot of fun. Okay, so I got a sack of plunder. I wish they would rework hunter powers and Torghast. They're just so boring. Yeah, it works, but still. Oh, fair enough. Um. Yeah, it, it's... I wonder if it's worth them spending the man hours. Obviously, for people who only play hunter, it'll definitely be worth it for them, but in the grand scheme of things and shit. Right, so what do we got this week? Oh, only three boxes. Okay. Um, so we have the Drondal Salvage, which has an Island Thunder Scale in it. The Rotting Mire Salvage, which has a Squawks in it. And the Whispering Reef Salvage, which has no mount in it. So we're going to be saving up to 175 anyway. What I'm actually trying to get is Kinsho's Eternal Hound. But the Island Thunder Scale is fucking beautiful. <laughs> um... So I feel like, although the percentage of what I have out of the Rotting Maya Salvage is a lot lower, so I feel like I should be going for that. But it's still going to be 175. And I have... I missed it. 42. Hi, the Good. sun well. Ah! Nix with the resub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much for your generosity and support. I hope you're having a lovely day. Let's see. What are we doing? Um, Hunter's powers are so fun though. MM Hunters. 9-1 or 9 5 improved a lot of our Shadowlands. Shame some wasn't in 9 -0. Yeah, um, look. Honestly, with what happened with that whole thing, like, with, with what happened with the, um, because wasn't it, it was COVID year, wasn't it? It was 2020 when it was released. So not only did they all have to push back to working from home, I imagine that they had to kick so much from their, what they intended to do. They just couldn't get it done. There wasn't enough time. They already pushed the launch back, which pissed off a lot of people. Um, so like they didn't have much choice either. Like everything be like everything be completely fucked and broken. I know a lot of people felt that 9 was pretty broken, but like, <laughs> no, no, like as in game breaking, unplayable kind of broken could have happened if they tried to get everything in. <laughs> with the limited time that they had. And do you know what I mean? Like it just, yes, I get it. But also they had pretty good reasons for it. It wasn't like they just got lazy. It was legitimate. Like they faced some really fucking tough stuff in the lead up to that launch. Um, oh, all right, battle. Um, I look jealously at Resto Shaman and Miss Fever Monks. I oh, need three of them and done. Um, I'm not feeling any better. Look, I think I'm getting there. Like, I think I'm getting there. Um, I'm not like 100% better. I'm really looking forward to lying down tonight. But it is what it is. I just really don't like it. I'm hunting pet buffs though. Uh, Risen Mare's best island mount. Well, I don't really have a chance of getting that one today unless it drops from an island that we're doing and I don't remember which ones it drops from, so that's okay. Um, new pet out then. Also, Kelly often have power cuts thanks to one company. Oh, good. Until then, turtle the trap builds can get crazy. I better take my shirt off Alrighty, this let me... This one... Congratulations to Meaty, I'd Seeker, Exo, Faden, Do, uh, Dunno, Run, and Zam on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Fast defeated. Uh, glad you're feeling a little better. Would staying extra hydrated help? Not like super duper extra hydrated because that might make me puke, but um, like a bit, a couple, like a, ha a small handful of hydrates probably wouldn't go amiss. Just gotta be careful, you know? Don't wanna like overburden my body and shit. 
Another hydrate. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just place the archer and hope for the best. <laughs> One and a half minute turtle and disengage flare, please. Fun as hell. Oh dear. Alright, here we go. Back to this one. Where am I? It's all cleared. <clears throat> Small handful, thank you, X, for respecting my body's needs. Both needing to be hydrated and not needing to be overhydrated. <laughs> I just, I feel like, you know, you know that feeling when you've drunk too much water and you feel kind of bloated and all that kind of stuff? I feel like that would be really bad for me right now. Where's... Ugh. Because I had one from earlier that I apparently missed. Because I'm very good at streaming. Have you heard? He is a pro streamer. Just that <laughs> Looking to loot the island. Totally. <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god, my fucking Argent Grundling is still following me around from before. I forgot about that. Who is streaming? Oh my god, where, where can I find <laughs> God damn it. You lot. You, are doing great out there. you guys make me laugh so much. It's amazing. Good lord. Ah, <laughs> oh, far out. Left you plenty of clips as evidence. True. True. Never enough, though. Never enough. How many days has February got next to this year? Is it 28 or 29? I think it's 28. There's only 28 clips for next month. using world and larger toys in yeah yeah those toys are great I've got an ad if you believe Microsoft it is 28 I feel like lying to us about the number of days in a month would be a very special thing for a company like Microsoft to do. Like, what... How would that serve them? And that's that's not me being, like, snarky or whatever. Like, genuinely, like, can we think of, like, how any kind of company in this... in it, let's, let's take some imaginary world, right? And you've got this big-ass company that has decided to lie to the entire planet about how many days are in a particular month. What would they gain from this? Tap into that creativity. What would they gain from that? It'd be a good troll. Yeah, but like, that's a lot of effort to, to try to convince a bunch of people, especially like, because you've, you've got calendar companies and all that kind of stuff out there who know this kind of shit, right? But then Microsoft rocks up and gone, actually, everyone else is wrong. This is how many days are in this month this year. 
what would they gain from like trying to convince everyone that all the other people are wrong? Days are not real, Microsoft lying to us, wake up people. <laughs> Guess like your friends are just thinking it's 29 days in Feb this year. Ah, oh, shit, that's an alliance. Not anymore, it's not. Oh, kill. Oh, I got a sparkle shell sand crawler. April Fool's promo. <laughs> something, something subscription hours. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Time is an artificial construct anyway. Well, not exactly. Time is just, it, it helps measure the way that the sun moves through the sky. It's, it's, a, it's a measurement, so like... The sun isn't invented. Uh, so I actually got braces that I didn't have yet, so that's nice. Let's do that. Uh, and I now have 54 doubloons. Not not quite 175 just yet. Get a cheap calendar where each month has 31 days. I'm gutted I lost it. Oh no. Time is fake. Lick a salt lamp. Now step up your game, Shiva. Grab like some hot chips and like rub them on the salt lamp and then like, yep. Just licking it's too much salt, too salty. But if you like rub some french fries on it, you'll be good. Just enough. Don't do that. Please don't do that. What are we rubbing and licking? <laughs> too salty. Salt lamp too salty. One star review. <laughs> you know someone has. Uh, I was with apathy, Jason. Apathy sloths was the other person in the ch in the queue. If you want <clears throat> salt lamp, the forbidden candy. Ca <sighs> salty candy though. You. It. It's like that that fucking licorice from the place that doesn't know how to make candy. <laughs> salt and caramel fear. That's not candy, that's sauce. Like, that's a sauce. And it's still not salty. There is just enough salt in there to bring out the flavor of the caramel. There is like, people market stuff as salted caramel and it's literally just fucking caramel. But then there's also like, if you make salted caramel and it literally tastes salty, there's too much salt and not enough caramel. Like it has to, there actually has to be a balance of both. Red potato dip, chips dipped in chocolate. That's not candy. Chocolate's not candy either. <laughs> like. That shit's great. I agree. That shit is delicious. Not candy. Fear is people not candy yet. <laughs> Fish are friends, not food. Here's a question I don't think I've asked stream before. Ooh! How? There's our next Sandy murder! <laughs> Yeast is a living organism, right? Yes. Is bread not vegan? Um, no. Some bread isn't. So the other thing is that he is right. Okay, so it should be the problem is everything, almost everything is a living organism. When you, when you cook bread, it kills the yeast. Um, but also mushrooms were a living organism. Fruit were a li like, any kind of fruit is part of a living organism. Plants live. Like, plants are alive. That's how they grow and do stuff and all that kind of shit. So it's not about it being a living organism. It's, it's a bit different. Um, and, uh, I believe, what was, what's yeast's classification? Uh, family. 
These wagon look particularly wild. Okay, so they're in the kingdom of fungi. They're in the same kingdom in terms of like organizational. They're the same kingdom as as mushrooms. So no, it doesn't. It's not the same. Some bread, however, is not vegan because of the other ingredients that are used. And then there are level five vegans who don't need anything that casts a shadow. So maybe they wouldn't eat yeast either. Who gets the reference? <laughs> feed yeast and make it happy. No, feed yeast and make it fart and then kill it and then cook it to death. Yeah, it's a fungi. Go, yeah. It's guessing clearly. That's right, I didn't know, and I'm like, I cannot fucking remember, so I googled it. So don't, do not stress. At least you actually took a stab and guessed. I was like, nope, I'm out. I'm googling. <laughs> um, here she brews into yeast genocide. Try to make bread. Realized had no yeast. Yeah, I've got some yeast in the freezer. Little canister of the stuff. Nice Simpsons joke. Brilliant. Thank you. Glad someone got it. Simpsons did it. Now have yeast so we'll break. Yep. Monday's my bread making day. Fantastic. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, um, but yeah, I, I would assume that because it's technically a fungus that they would count it in the same kind of bracket as mushroom. Um, but I'm sure that there are some, and there, there are absolutely some breads that are not vegan because they use, um, a bit milk or, or something else to, like, you know, do stuff. Um... And there are some commercial breads, like commercially made breads, that have um, additives and stuff that are derived from animal products, and so they won't eat, they won't eat that either. Um, but it really it depends on the individual, because I don't think like I I know quite a few vegan people, and all of them have like different sort of lines where they draw Balance stuff, and it's all really all. down to like personal kind of like there are some people who will literally study food additives and stuff because they absolutely refuse to use anything like eat anything that was even like tangentially related to you know like in in the the filtering of the thing there was something used that sometimes is derived from this type of animal maybe um, and so they won't touch it because there's that chance but then others are like well i'm not actually eating the piece of cow so you know it's fine um but it, yeah i think you know, each individual's, like, definition of what vegan means to them is hugely personal. Uh, and that's okay. So there, there may be some who don't eat mushrooms or yeast, um, but others who are perfectly fine with it. As Monday for my mum makes bread during lockdown, even my downstairs neighbor was trying to find yeast for it. Yeah, everyone went and bought the bread making shit, hey. And the sourdough starters and, yep. Make bread tomorrow, it'll still be your Monday. If you do it early enough, I think it will be. Um, hey APC. How are you going? Yeah, I'm doing alright. Thanks for asking. Oh shit. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I'm from Australia, so am I. Welcome on in. It's currently 3 a.m. on Monday right now, so probably. So you've got 21 hours. <laughs> 21 hours and counting. Oh dear. That's really funny. Welcome, traveler. <laughs> right, so I have. What I get? 26! So I have 80 total. We need to get to 175 though. So we're almost, you know, we're, we're almost, what, just over halfway? This is fine. This is fine. Go, Zika, go! Yep. Yeah. Uh, 3 a.m. You must be lonely. Sheep has got the whole of stream to keep him company. Chair stream? Oh, fuck you then. I'll leave. Okay. I know where I'm not wanted. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ugh. Run away, little girl. <laughs> Run away. I do actually have two chair streams queued up now. No one got my joke. No, I did not. So sad. 
song. Okay, cool. Well, at least at least one person got it. One person's good. Sorry for for breaking that. I'm just doing my the bathroom. Well, now Mike's used to take a tiny break. Fair. Oh, Matchbox it's Twenty. Oh wow, Matchbox it's Twenty. It's Holy it's shit, it's that takes me back. Yeah, I, I do not recall the song specifically, unfortunately, but that's okay. At least someone does. That's the, that's the point, right? At least one person gets it. For the Horde's benefit, I will speak slowly. Island hours. You leave. Simple enough for you. Just listen to them. Nope. Nothing wrong with that. Good music doesn't fade, you know? There are still, like, really, really old songs that I listen to just because of the memories and shit that's associated with them. And, like, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Um. One of the... Ah, uh, fucking... You know, do you remember Mika? I think Mika's still around, but not as, not as big. There was a point back when I was in, like... Fuck, was it like mid high school or late high school? I can't remember exactly, but Mika, M I K A. Um, one of the songs was Lollipop, and then another one was. Um, uh, uh, happy Ending. I was sorry, running through the chorus line, because I knew the word, I knew the name of it, the title was in the chorus somewhere, but I couldn't remember what it was. So just running through the lyrics in my head. Apologies. Um, but Mum and I used to, she had, the al she had his album. And she put it on in the car, and the two of us would just belt it out. We'd have the windows wound up so no one could hear us, and just belt it out at the top of our lungs. And um, like a week ago or so, um, I, I stumbled across something that was in my like Spotify recommended. It wasn't one of Mika's songs, but it was something that reminded me of his stuff. And so I went and sort of, you know, sorted out, and um, yeah, like, good lord. It just, yeah, it hits different when you got those memories associated with stuff. Oh, I use the free stuff to Spotify ring that. Memories of the bad 90s music of my childhood. Amazing. Amazing. Some of it was genuinely really fucking good, though. Actually, some of it is still to listen to me got good. Good. And TikTok had the meme of people seeing this on Grace Kelly. Yeah. This guy's, yeah. Some rest so many people, it has, yeah. Bring me a song to my shower playlist. Love that. That's awesome. Like it's forever. Yeah. I don't want to sing too much of it because I will get DMCA'd. Uh, <laughs> no, I won't because it won't be anywhere close to accurate. But, yes. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to put up with so much fucking shit if we ever have like a face-to-face -face meetup because I won't have to worry about getting DMZ'd. So like, maybe I should put like one of those fucking Bluetooth speaker things on my wish list. <laughs> Just to irritate you all. All seeing in each other's faces, yep. Except, like, a meter and a half away from each other's faces. Because we are respectful of social distancing. From a safe distance with masks! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh, fuck. It's okay, we can space out, and then we're allowed to sing louder, because we have to sing louder, because otherwise they won't hear us. Like, come on. You know? Backstreet Boys, yes! Yeah, absolutely. How do YouTube me if I know who you're talking about? Oh, yeah, okay. And yeah, he, he was a, quite popular a while back, but um, not quite as... Although, that being said, I do not listen to radio, so I have no fucking idea what's popular these days. At all. <laughs> Whatsoever. 
Maybe we can legally public he's saying in the trailer the moment. Really? Why? Just because of the masks thing? Or like... Open mouth sharing a spittle. It's not like we're making out though, Seeker. Like, we're not spitting it. If you're spitting, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I mean, I can understand if it's like the whole like deeper breathing and, and all that kind of stuff, but um, that seems like a really odd, like really odd specific thing for them to say no to. Is there maybe a rule against busking? Is that where that's come from? I'm going to admit I have not done very much looking into anything associated- like I haven't even thought of this as a possibility, but like... Is it like you're not allowed to busk? Is that- No, no, I, I know, that's what I mean, Bec because of COVID. Are you not allowed to busk because of COVID? Sort of, yeah, sorry, my bad. There's a, yeah, second half of the assumed sentence there. Um, Brooklyn Nine-Nine has cemented that song in history. Sing Lollipop for a school talent show. It's a good song. So upbeat and fun, right? Like, just... I mean, some of the words are a little bit interesting, but like, yep. I heard it went, um, how they would place that. In venues, public, etc. So bands are no-nos in pubs, venues, etc. at the moment. Interesting. But I mean, like... If you're having a conversation with a person, and the two of you happen to like you when we're not talking publicly singing and being loud and projecting our voices and all that kind of like that's not what we're talking about like belted out both grace kelly low but fuck yes someone else join in oh are you heading off chaos I speak in the shower is best thing ever. 10 out of 10 recommend. Uh, if I had to speak in the shower, I'd spend entirely too long in there and I have other shit to do. I can't afford to spend longer in the shower. <laughs> You're heading off? All right, not a worry. Um, I think Jason and Apathy are in a duo by themselves and I'd hate to like try to make a group of three and then leave someone by themselves. I don't think that that's fair. So um, I think we'll just go with the two of us because it's time to use the bathroom. All right, I might do the same. I'll take one of those chair streams and take a quick break. But yeah, I would imagine if there was a couple of people sitting together, they're not performing, they're not projecting it out to whatever. If there's just a couple of people like singing along with something themselves, I don't think that that's going to be fine. If they're respecting literally everything else, like the, you know, socially distanced from other groups, They've got their masks on, they're sitting, like, I, I do not see that being, like, a group of patrolling police coming and stopping you from doing that. I, I just don't see that happening. Um, like, you know, I just, I can understand, like, organizing somebody to do that. Um, because especially like music encourages the dancing thing. It encourages people getting closer to each other and getting into it and all that kind of stuff. Like, I, I get that. But if this is just like a personal thing, yeah, I just, I don't see that being a thing. I mean, all this just should be so, you'd hope so. You'd hope so. Um, yeah, all right, I'm gonna be back in a second. Ooh, see you soon.
I too have returned. Alright. Let's do it. Ah, it's you. Uses on this page, nourish now. Singing and dancing is not permitted at a hospitality venue, entertainment facility, nightclub, major recreation facility, or music festival. Except in the Yeah, so a couple of people sing, sitting in the park having lunch together. I don't think that applies to them. A uh, performer who is performing or rehearsing. Uh, a person who is instructing or being instructed in singing or dancing at a wedding service gathering immediately following a wedding. Yeah, so it's hospitality venue, entertainment facility, nightclub, major recreation facility, or music festival. Like, none of those is a park. I think, like, three or four people jam into some tunes in a park, I think, is fine. Although, I'm in Queensland, so, like, even then, the rules are probably going to be different because fuck everything. <laughs> You mean we're not a major music festival? Look, I mean, as much as we would like to think so, I think we have to come to terms with the fact that we just might not be. That's a rare. That's a black Durgan. Black snake Durgan. Um. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Uh, it seems to be just like don't party with lots of people, you numpties. Well, yeah, absolutely. And like when you've got a lot, like when you've got a fair few people inside close together, maybe don't share air. Like that's, you know what I mean? When you're outside in a park, I feel like that's really different. But I mean, again, that's just my perspective. I, I, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Not that I feel comfortable going to a fucking park at the moment, really, anyway, but, uh... <laughs> You're well put, right, Ness? That's exactly it. Exactly it. So I don't think I've seen you in chat today, so hello. Welcome back. I could be wrong, but, you know, my brain is a bit splat sometimes. Right, there we go. Fantastic. Yeah, like literally in the last kind of hour or so, hey. <laughs> oh, metal. Good time for me to come back, hey. Platform change to match. Perfect. Makes more sense that way, doesn't it? Easy to keep track of, too. Invis because I feel like it'll get all its health back and I actually did a pretty good job. It's down to like 30%. Almost done. Almost done. I'll give you rewards. Something is flying in. There we go. Alright. Congratulations to Sika, Vio, Dew, Yori, Z, Jason, and Spam on all of your bonus shit. Well done. Ooh. Tier 25. Keep your heads up. I'm oh, gonna go down south. Oh dear, that looks like a very glitched thing there. Oh dear. Oh dear. Very glitched unit. Uh, 
Um, more assists. Or 27. Maybe the archer actually did help. I don't know. Let's go there. Make sure you place those units. <gasps> Durgan! Means the island thunderscale could drop, right? discovered wild pets I don't have yeah yeah that'll happen catch those little fuckers though Did I win? Oh shit, I didn't open my bags from last round. 128. Not bad. Are you ready for Not the bad. epic journey? Come on. Very much like amount, if that's okay with you, RNG. Jesus. One, two, three. Only three of the four left are actually still on my front page amounts. The Risen Mare is rarer than my front page. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Holy shit, it's really far down the second page. Interesting. Get to it. Interesting. I'm waiting for you.
I was just thinking of how much I would love a good hunt. Release the hounds! chest <clears throat> okay, so the life is too hard right now oh is the kitty just kind of splayed in a corner somewhere half out of his basket oh that's super cute i mean i kind of feel like it's almost similar to like when we lie in bed and like stick one leg out of the blanket or whatever you know like why not why not chill part of the stream. Just, like, chill islands. Get them done. Hope for something to drop. And that moment of hype when something does. And then move on to the next one. Did it in Ireland is gone perfect.
Move too soon. Hydrate. We are almost done. You are doing well. I've got another little hoof. Good lord. Okay. Uh, hydrates. Morning Vale, how are you going? I reckon i got one more hydrate left. If anyone would like to claim it. Yeah, 147. Oh, shit, not that bit. Can you taste the salt this one? Here? Now you are home. Puppy ill. Get to the bit. Oh, bugger. Well, I hope he's feeling better soon. There we go. Thank you very much, Tony, and a, a honorary men honorable mention to Apathy. I'm gonna refund that one though, because um, I'm out. Um, pause. Redemptions. There we go. Bottle finished. <clears throat> Always a good feeling when I finish that bottle. <laughs> Thanks in no small part to you guys. The tracks are down, friends. We'll get the detector online. <laughs> Pause to check. I can do that. I can totally do that. Stretch. Perfect. Look, sometimes I stay on top of redemptions, just not often. <laughs> uh, out of curiosity, and more than fair if you prefer not to say, how did you manage to get your stream advertised on the, I'm assuming, battle.net? Uh, client. I've never seen anything like it. Um, it's definitely not a business secret. No, not at all. Um, so yeah, we've got link protection here. So typing out battle.net has been replaced for everyone else. You can still see it, but everyone else can see just three asterisks. But I assume you mean battle.net. So, um, there's a, if you type exclamation launcher, um, there's a kind of a, a little spiel about how it happened. Cause it's a, a question I get 
like every stream. <laughs> so we have like an FAQ for it. Um, exclamation launcher will get you the, uh, the story. Um, but I'm happy to answer any further questions for sure. Uh, but yeah, it was like, what the fuck is going on with these? Okay, look at look at these bats. Yeah, yeah. So this one is this one here is working how it's meant to. Look at the other one right in front of me. What the fuck is that? And the one behind it. And the one over there. What are they doing? Excuse me. Your wings appear to be broken. <laughs> That's not how physics works at all. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh good lord. That's so funny. It's it's the yellow ones. It's the the non-aggro ones that are doing it. Is what that's so funny. I wonder if I hit it if it'll fix. It did. That's so funny. So strange. Hello, rough. Welcome on in. Yeah, indeed. I think the bats broke. I think they broke too backwards flying they're like they're trying to dig with their wings it's a thing apparently like just just you know it's fine it's fine yeah the trapped ones like it's just so strange though seeing that happen oh that's a portal on my face oh dear i'm gonna go over here am i the only person who uses fear posture check stretch to remind me to do something similar to myself while watching not at all not at all um people have often told me that when I do a redemption, they do it themselves as well. Absolutely. Oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, Blizz AU seems to really take care of their local community. It's awesome. They have I, what I would imagine to be a lot more freedom than um, Blizz US to kind of reach out and do that kind of stuff. It just, it kind of seems like it's a much bigger deal for the US to be able to do that kind of stuff. Um, whereas AU, NZ seems to be able to kind of just... Not... Not go nuts with it, but do you know what I mean? Like, they, they have a little bit more freedom to build the community in the way that they want to, whereas a lot of the, like... Yeah, I don't know. The US does also seem to be quite a bit more conservative than Australia and New Zealand are as well. So, like, I feel like head office would get her in a lot more trouble if they made a boo-boo with a particular person or, or someone that they put on the launcher said one little thing and a whole bunch of people jumped on top of it. And do you know what I mean? Like, that's... That doesn't seem to happen so much in Australia. Like we're not, it, not not that Blizzard would get sued for having something, but it is that kind of sue happy kind of culture, where lit litigious sort of culture, where it's like oh, I'm gonna take you down for this little tiny thing that doesn't really actually mean much. Um, whereas Australia and New Zealand seem to be a bit more chill with that kind of shit. Um, so maybe that's why they've got a bit more freedom to be able to do it. I'm not too sure. Like, I, I don't have any inside information or anything like that. Uh, but I don't know. Yeah, it just because I know that we've had a few, quite a few um, streamers and content creators featured across the, all the different Blizzard IP launches. Um, but in the US, it doesn't happen very much at all. It's mostly like official events where people have signed contracts to be in, to you know, to be featured and all this kind of stuff in those events. Things like the MDIs and stuff like that. Um, and they can control the content a hell of a lot more with those kind of things as well, because they can just cut if they don't, like, you know, cut to somewhere else if they don't like what's going on. Uh, whereas featuring someone like me, they have no control of my content. Um, obviously, if I did something to piss them off, they'd stop featuring me. Uh, but. You know, they liked what they saw, and so they went with it. Um, yeah. Does that make sense? Hope it makes sense. I, it, like, it made sense in my brain. It doesn't necessarily mean it makes sense coming out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, I didn't just stretch. I feel called out. Yep. Yep. Makes sense. Hottie naughty. A great example. Uh, Hottie chicken? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Get supported as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Hordy's lovely. She's just, she's absolutely amazing. Blue dress, Western Australia. Close border. Huh? Sorry, I'm not sure what that means, Ruff. Um, chicken, yeah. 
That makes sense. Yeah, okay, cool. Awesome. But yeah, like, I'm, I'm not too sure exactly what the big differences are, but that, to me, makes logical sense. So maybe that's it. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Um, but I'm so thankful to have the opportunity to do this kind of stuff because I've met so many incredible people. Not just, like, obviously we've had um, viewers and stuff who have come in because they found me on The Watcher, which is great. Um, but because of the connection with Blizzard and because other content creators have connections with Blizzard. I've been able to meet them with Blizz acting as the middleman kind of thing. And it's like so many people who are just doing what I want to do. And like, you know, people who are full-time streamers and, and people who are endlessly creating and all this kind of stuff. And it just, it's awesome to have those kind of people within reach and, you know, contactable and all that kind of stuff. It's really that lovely. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, clip the Batwings, put it in general chat on the Discord. Fantastic, Thor. Wonderful. Thank you very much for that. That was just so strange. Like, what are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, 177! Oh, wow, I was speedy. Do you have any news? Here we go. Rotting, Maya, Salvage. Can I get a Squawks? Surviving means being resourceful. No, I cannot. Great. I did, however, get the plundered blue captain's hat. So that's nice. So that one only comes out of salvage. It doesn't like... Oh no, it could just drop from islands. Oh well, I've got it now. Brilliant. Ah, oh dear. A day when you see no land is a good day. Before I came to Twitch, people featured on the launcher never made any sense to me. I'd open the launcher to play WoW and nothing else. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, um... A lot of people come in and, like, take jabs. Um, like, how are you on the launcher and you've only got X viewers? You know, like, you know, you're tiny. First of all, like, I, I've, I've been asked um, who I provided sexual favors to to get on the launcher. Hot tip, nobody. Uh-uh, <laughs> it's not the kind of shit that we do here. Um, but also, like, you know, how are you so goddamn small and yet you're on the goddamn launcher? Like, how, how are you managing to get this incredible exposure and you can only manage to retain this many people and all that kind of stuff as well? And it's like, people don't, like, people launch the launcher to like they to to play their games the number of people who actually click through on those panels is very very small it's a tiny percentage of the people who actually use the launcher not only that but a lot of people who play the game don't even use the launcher because they'll only play one of the games and so they don't need to they just launch it direct from an exe um and then a lot of people who do click through and they check it out and we're not the kind of content they're interested in and that's okay. Like, some people only want to watch super high-end content, like, you know, Mythic Plus 20 and, and Mythic Rating and all that kind of, and, you know, top-end PvP, and that's totally okay. No problem at all with that. But, like, you know, if you don't like content, fucking just leave. <laughs> Go find another streamer, seriously. There are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of us. I'm sure there'll be someone streaming what you like to watch. There's no need to ridicule someone for not doing what you like. But anyway. Oh, it's so much fun. Streaming's the best. It's a bit tiny jealous. People say strange things at times. Look, and it, it may not be a jealousy thing. It may just be that, you know, they're having a salty day and they're, you know, they're unhappy with something and they're deciding to lash out at someone and, and being faceless and nameless on the internet, being anonymous is the easiest way for them to do that because there are no consequences in their mind. And that's fine. Like, but just, why spread the negativity? If you're, if you're in a pissy mood, go find something that makes you happy. Don't waste your time with me, like fuck. If you don't like my content, find something better for you. Like, good lord. But whatever. <laughs> Would have thought not many will click on it. Yeah. And that's okay, but I mean, a lot of people do. It may be a teeny tiny percentage of the player base. 
but that's okay. A teeny tiny percentage of the player base has clicked through to my stream, and a teeny tiny percentage of those people have stuck around and, and jumped in chat and, and become a part of the community, and that's enough. Like, we've got such an awesome community here that the people who have left, maybe they just didn't belong here, and that's all right. Not everyone has to belong everywhere. One of my favorite quotes, say it with me, Ulet. It's from Dita Von Teese. You could be the sweetest, juiciest peach in the world. Some people just don't like peaches. And I'm totally fine for that because it means more peaches for me. I love peaches. So. <laughs> that stuff sounds so boring to me. Give me the gold makers and collectors. Yeah, look, I mean, it can definitely, um, you know, it, it's like those, those those hype moments, those build up moments in, in the big like blockbuster movies and stuff like that. When it's coming down to the wire, like who's gonna make it? Like who's gonna win? Are they gonna make time? And they've got ten seconds to go. I felt that in in Mythic Plus, like doing Mythic Plus and having like watching the timer count down, and it's like five, four, three, and we're on the last boss, and we're like, oh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Fucking push, 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 and then we do it, and we're like, wait, did we get that? And then it comes up and it was like, you know, zero seconds remaining, timed. And we're like, ah, it's amazing. Like, it's such an adrenaline rush and it's it's awesome. But not all the time. <laughs> not all the time. That shit's exhausting. Oh, fuck. Not all the time. But look, and I, I can never, I can never fault people for liking that kind of shit because it is so exciting. I just, fuck man, I need sleep. I don't need more adrenaline. <laughs> uh, not all players use Twitch. Exactly. Exactly. Help me with a thought. People in the launcher already have the product, so it wouldn't make sense to pick the streamer with the most eyeballs on them. Rather pick someone that represents the game company's values. Uh, I think you may have missed a couple words there. Let me figure this out, Jay. Um, People on the launcher already have the product, so it wouldn't make sense to pick the streamer with the most eyeballs on them. So, wait. So wouldn't it make sense to pick the streamer with the most eyeballs on them, rather than pick someone that represents the game companies? I, yeah, I'm, I still can't, I'm not sure that I'm interpreting that correctly. I think there's a couple words missing there, Jay. Um, would you potentially be able to revise? Sorry, it might just be that my brain is splatting. I wouldn't put it past it. Um, but I can't quite figure it out. There are just, there are a couple of ways that it could be interpreted and they're wildly different, so I don't want to get it wrong. Oh, can't you get to eat a lot of peaches? Find Mythic Plus too stressful these days, sadly. Totally fair. Why'd you put that tune in my head? It's boring to do Mythic Plus every day, every hour. Yeah, I, um, like, look, I'm, I have a lot of, like, streamer friends who do Mythic Plus and that's all that they stream. Um, and they would find it boring to mount farm all the time. Or level tunes all the time. Or, or farm transmog at all. Um, so it really just depends on what you enjoy doing. And a lot of them do things like, um, you know, they give away keys to viewers and stuff like that. And it gets them a shitload of viewers because the, the viewers have the potential to get something out of the stream for themselves. Like they get a physical, like a, a tangible to them benefit. Uh, whereas here, it's just for entertainment. You you ain't gonna get shit out of me. Um, <laughs> like I I can't give you shit. Like I that's not a thing I can do. Um, I cannot run carries. I would probably need to be carried myself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's uh it is a very different market though. Very different market. Like I mean, if I if I switch to doing just Mythic Plus, I I'd lose probably most of my viewer base, and I'd have to kind of rebuild because it'd be a different market. Um, but I just find this so much more fun, like, collecting and shit. It's great. Came here from Twitch channel recommended for you, but when that showed you I thought I recognized that name, I realized I see you on the launcher, so I clicked it on Twitch. It technically didn't come from the launcher, it did help nudge me here. Twitch recommended channels seem scarily appropriate sometimes, absolutely. So Twitch recommended channels are getting a lot better. They used to be, like, here are, you know, the categories you usually watch, here are the people who have a fuckload of viewers in those categories right now. Um, which is, of course, not always what you're kind of looking for. These days it takes into account, big time, um, what you already watch. So if you watch a streamer really, like, super regularly, 
and that streamer has like 20 or 30 people who also watch me, then I'll pop up and you're recommended and pretty high up. If they have one or two people who also watch me, then I'll be lower in your recommended. There are obviously a lot of other um, little things that, that kind of contribute as well, but that's a big one these days, which is really, really useful because um, it has helped a lot of smaller streamers grow, uh, which is great. Like, super, super awesome. Um, yeah. Always need more adrenaline. You have a resemblance to the actress Gina Michaels? Do I? I don't know who that is. Uh, I also can't find them on Google. Oh no, they were, hang on. Oh no, that's an artist, that's not an actress. I'm very confused. You're trying to tell me I look like a porn star. Gotcha. So, so what, you're trying to say Gianna Michaels? You've spelt her name wrong. So, firstly, when you're going to try to do that, make sure you like give respect to the person by spelling the name correctly. Like, put some effort in. Come on. Uh, you're trying to tell me I look like a porn star, right? Okay. Cool. Um. All right. Where? Come on. Do better next time. Do better. We did a key at 0 0.001 remaining on the timer. Amazing, Jason. Incredible. Like, there's just those, like, right down to the wire. Holy shit. Uh, Veer, Zam, Thor, Dew, Apro, and Faden, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. If you put in mind by talking about peaches. Sorry. Sorry. Not that peaches don't drive me mad. I got an okay tune. I don't know why I dislike it. It might be overdone, maybe. Have you ever done? Ah, uh, hoping next patch gives us another puzzle mount. I miss them. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like them as well. Puzzles are great. I love puzzles. They're just so good. Um, all right, I need to go and turn in some of these quests. There we go. Now, what did I have left? Flying units, leveling, and getting assists. Let me let me place my monk down again. Maybe that'll help with the assists. The device is up. You should be able to see all the ads right now. But <laughs> the device is up. The, the, get, the, the expedition is over. What are you doing? Um, get entertainment out of you. That's good enough for me. I'm glad, Exo. I'm so pleased. Wonderful. It still work. Machine learning gets better with more data. No, I know, right? Like how could that possibly be a thing? 18. All right. Not 175. Welcome That's Abbey. fine. Oh, I'll try again. Sorry. Would assume Blizzard pick stream is to support, not to sell game copies, but fostering good community. This is might be wrong. I think it might be a balance of both. Um, I think that like they want to encourage people to play. They want it. They want to encourage. Like they want to show people playing the game. But the other thing is like. You're already, you're on the launcher. So you've got, the, why, why would you have the launcher if you weren't, like if you didn't already have the game, you know what I mean? Like it's a bit of a tricky one. Like if they put streamers on the backs of buses, sure, that's a little bit different. <laughs> um, but they stuck Bulva there instead, uh, Bulva. But um, I feel like it, yeah, I definitely think it's got a lot to do with the whole fostering of community and stuff like that. It is if you, if you're playing a game, just by yourself, like if you get bored of it, then you might leave. But if you jump into a streamer's channel and you make connections there and you start playing with those people, you've got more tethers to hold you to the game, to stop you from, from getting bored because you've got other people to play with. You get different ideas of what you can do in the game from the streamer. You can ask questions. It's kind of almost like a an extension of newcomer chat sometimes, which sometimes is good and sometimes is not, you know, depending on what we're doing in game. But, um. Yeah, I think there's like, 
definitely, I think the community thing is absolutely a thing, but also not necessarily to sell copies, but to keep people subscribed, like to keep people in the game, maybe. That's maybe their financial benefit side of it. And don't wonder. Mm. You're still years old. Um, not wanting to suffer and find it hard to bring new people over to mine. Normally, I always get the same people coming in. Don't really, don't mind really. It's good to have people that I have forged family relationships with consistently coming on to say hi. However, I'd be keen to forge new relationships. There are there are so many ways to do that, but the best way is to be in streams and stuff. Um, the the like the not self promoting thing is like good on you for not self promote like for not trying to self promote because it's super super important if people come in here and like I've had one particular person some of you may remember them uh, one particular person came in and said do you have any tips for a new streamer and I said yeah absolutely and so I you know rattled off my tips and then um, a f a, like a week or so later. They came in and dropped the exact, do you have any tips for a new streamer, with the same space between streamer and the question mark, like the same wrong grammar and all that, like everything was exact, like it was pretty much a copy paste. Um, and I, I was like, uh, yeah, you've actually asked that before, because fun fact, streamers have fucking chat logs. Um, <laughs> we can click your name and see every message you ever fucking sent, sweetheart. Uh, so like, I'm like, you have asked that before, um, but you know, in case you missed it, maybe maybe you got caught by an ad or, or maybe you, whatever, here's a quick rundown of what I said. And then not two hours later, they did the same fucking thing. And I'm like, okay, you are clearly jumping from stream to stream that has over your threshold that you've decided upon of viewers and dropping that with the hopes that go, oh, they're a new streamer asking for tips, I'm gonna go follow them. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. The best way, like, so if you want to push yourself up on that recommended thing is to, like, the streamers that you enjoy, be active in their chats, be active in their discords, follow them on, on Twitter and comment on their shit and all that kind of stuff. Because what's going to happen is that people will start interacting with you because you're a part of that community. You're a part of the community and they're going to interact with you on a regular basis. And then it's going to, it's going to come up that you're streaming. And so those people who are interacting with you on a regular basis are going to come and watch that stream. And then that's going to put, and then once you've got people in this channel who are watching you as well, other people who are watching this channel are going to start seeing you pop up in their recommendeds because they have shared viewership. Like that's like, do you know what I mean? That's, that's how you do that. You form those actual connections. That's what networking. <laughs> networking except fun not having to like force yourself to stroll up to people in an event and go hi i am strimmer nice to meet you like it's <laughs> that is the most awkward horrible thing i've ever had to do and i hate it so much i hate it so much um but it's like that's kind of yeah the the whole like jumping into other people's streams not announcing that you're a streamer but just kind of getting yourself into those communities and and being a contributing member and and having fun and but particularly the streams where you actually enjoy being don't just hang out with and contribute to a stream that you don't connect with because their viewers are not going to connect with your stream either because they connect with this other person's stream that you don't connect to because it's not your type of content and i presume that you create your type of content you know so if you're enjoying it here because this is the kind of content that you create then fucking hang out with us, stick it out. Like, you know what I mean? That's, that's kind of, yeah, that is, that is what I would recommend. Not that you asked for tips, but <laughs> have them anyway. I care, you know, like, it's not like we're, we're not out here stealing viewers from each other. This is this whole thing, especially with like, you have these people like at the very beginning, it's like, yeah, we're going to grow together. with follow for follow. No, no. That does nothing because the people who are following you, like follow for follow, they're just growing for, and follow numbers do not count for shit. Once you're affiliated, no one gives a shit. Once you're affiliated, no one gives a flying fuck about your viewer number, your, your follow numbers. It's the viewers that count, the viewer numbers, your, your CCV, your concurrent viewers. Um, but like, if you find people who you gel with, who stream when you're not streaming, that is the best kind of community to kind of stick with because those people are going to look for other streams to hang out with hang out in when that community isn't live yeah it's no choice. It's, 
the bad trolls at times. It's like you're just do better. Come on, if you're gonna if you're gonna put the effort into to troll, then like at least be good. <laughs> like at least do something new. Like, do you really think you're the first person to tell me that I look like a porn star? No. <laughs> Um, back from the bar, I feel much better after 10 weeks. Well done, Drez. Well done. Congratulations. What am I doing? Not killing shit, that's for sure. You're going to one blasted late match. <laughs> oh, it sucks this idea is ramping back up due to it being the start of new season. Uh, that's my point, you're already a customer. I would think they don't only pick a big streamer that might be bad for the brand. Oh yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, definitely not. Um, they, yeah, um, for, for judging by the other people that they've featured on the launcher, they're all, they do different types of, like, not everyone does the same kind of content as me, um, in terms of, like, what we do in-game, but we all have the same chill attitude, really friendly and open, willing to help with, you know, anything we can at the time, all that kind of shit, and that's, like, I'm pretty sure that's what they're after. They're looking for, you know, you've got the, the newcomer chat, and you've got guides, so like, they're looking for people to be like, for lack of a better phrase, like head guides. Like people, instead of just dropping into chat and hoping someone answers uh, into, into newcomer chat, they're going into a, a streamer's chat and they're talking to somebody live. Um, you know, we're not, we're not GMs. We're not gonna be able to help you fix your game and stuff, but we can answer questions. We can help guide you in the game. We can talk to you about what's going on. And that like, we, we know what we're doing to an extent. Um, so it's kind of, yeah, it's that sort of vibe. The, the chill, friendly, not always chill chill, but like, you know, not, not the kind of streamers who do ridiculous stuff, um, like clickbaity crap and, and, um, all that kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, what actually helped for me, uh, when I streamed was that there was a mod for Trekkie at the time, a lot of his viewers would check in on my channel too. Oh, you were a mod for Trekkie? Oh, cool, there you go. Good morning, Notepad. This thing takes time, yeah, definitely takes time. I honestly was only looking for advice, wasn't hoping for self-promotion at all. Yeah, totally fine. You're very welcome, not a problem. Uh, if I started regular streaming, I don't think I'd want to be the scummy person that bounces around and ask everyone streaming how yeah, to be better. Look, there's there's definitely a, there's a, there's a time and a place for it. Um, but you can abso- Sorry, Sheba just got up an ooh pretty. That, is that pretty? I don't, I'm not sure I would describe that as pretty. I'd probably describe that as bonk. Uh, <laughs> Cause that's a fucking big ass sword. Holy Jesus. That's like, how do you, that is that a two hander? It is, okay, thank fuck for that. I'm like how the hell do you even wield that shit? Good Lord. Um, oh fuck. But yeah, it's, um. It, it becomes very obvious when someone is is just asking like for advice so that they can say that they are a streamer in a chat in hopes of people clicking them. Like it's it's very obvious when people do that kind of shit. Um, at least it's obvious when you've been doing this for six fucking years. Uh, <laughs> um, but look, it's. I understand that everyone wants to get noticed, everyone wants to grow, everyone wants to make it, whatever their definition of that is. But there are there are ways to get yourself into communities and like make those connections and do it the right way versus like if if you're gonna come in and do that, I'm gonna end up banning you. Right? Like if, if people come in and they constantly do that annoying shit and I can tell that they're just doing it to try to get people to click over. Um, then I'm gonna ban them because it's fucking, you're not contributing to the community in any way. You're just irritating everybody and you're bringing down the vibe. Not saying, not, not you as in anybody, but like, you know, the general, the, the royal you, um, that's not a thing. But anyway, um, and so, you know, when the time comes that I have an opportunity that I'm able to share with other streamers, why the fuck am I gonna pick them? I'm not. They're banned from my fucking channel. They're an annoying and irritating. I'm not gonna help them. 
in any way, shape or form. But the people who have stuck around for like a long ass time and the people who I know stream because it's just kind of been discovered naturally that, oh my God, they're a streamer. Look at that. That's incredible. Uh, and then I've, you know, dropped in and said hello and stuff. And um, it's kind of... <laughs> Oh God, it's embarrassing. Um, you know, there have been a couple of people and I've dropped in and they've lost their shit. Like, oh my God, fears in chat. I'm like, yes, hello, it me. Why are you freaking out? It's just me, I am a human. Please stop, like, ah! Um, so it's, it's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> it still feels weird. It's happened a couple of times and I'm like, I'm sorry, I did not mean to call attention to myself. I'm going to lurk now. But like those kind of people who, I, who I've who i had that connection with for forever and who are a, a genuine part of my community as well as having their own community, those are the kind of people I'm gonna reach out to and be like, hey fuckers, I've got an opportunity. Would you like in? <laughs> yeah, it's, um, that's how you grow. That's how you grow, in my opinion. I mean, among other things, social media. Use your fucking so you people can only find you on Twitch while you're live. You need to build your evergreen content. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all the fucking places. If you're an art streamer, Pinterest, but you need to like you need to build that evergreen content so that people can find you at any hour, day or night, any day of the week, and then follow that content through to you on Twitch and find you when you're live. That's something I've massively learned in the last 12 months. <clears throat> I guess the limiting factor is the amount of work that has to be put into social media. Congratulate you for the amount of effort you put into it whilst having a job as well. I find it extremely difficult. I have a part-time job. It is 15.2 hours per week. Streaming and its back end is 40 hours a week is what I work. Yeah, so I reached the point a couple years back, um, just over three years ago, where I was earning enough from Twitch that I could justify stepping down to part-time at work, not quitting my job, but stepping down to part-time at work. Uh, and I did so when I was working three days a week. Uh, and then, uh, then um, the requirements of the business changed and they, they dropped me down to two days a week rather than three. And I was like, ah, fuck. Um, um, but I, I managed to, to make it work in terms of paying bills and shit like that. So basically my day job covers all of my essentials, rent, bills, food, medication, anything that is absolutely essential is covered by my day job. Uh, Twitch is disposable income. Um, so anything that I need for, for like, if I need new clothes, Twitch money. Uh, if I want takeout, Twitch money. Uh, if I want anything that is not an absolute essential, it's Twitch money. Um, at the moment though, I have $23,000 worth of dentistry to get done. Um, I've paid for a chunk of it. I've got a lot of it to go. I'm having surgery. I've got my next appointment, uh, Feb 10th, um, which will be with my surgeon to have to book surgery or to check if I'm ready to book surgery number two. Like I'm having CT scans because uh, I had I had a surgery back in October. I had a complex extraction and a bone graft put into my jaw to, to fill the hole where the tooth came out of um, because I'm getting an implant put in and that surgery number two is actually putting the implant in. So in February, they're going to check if my jaw is solid enough to accept the implant and not have it fall out. Uh, and then what, if they're happy with it, I'll be booking it in. Um, it'll pro If they're happy with it, it'll probably be like early to mid-March if they have any slots available. Given COVID, everything's a little bit kind of what the fuck is happening? Um, so we're not sure. We won't know until it's booked. Um, and even then I could be, I could possibly get pushed back. I hope not because I like to plan shit and have things sorted. Um, but there is always the potential for that. Um, we'll queue up another one. Sorry, Shiba. I got distracted by ranting. Look, Shiba knows me. Shiba is either, she's like, if Shiba's in a group with me, he knows that either it's going to be like, he's happy with it or he just leaves the group. Um, <laughs> uh, so all of my Twitch income, is currently going into my dentistry fund because I would really not like to, I, I would prefer to not take out any loans if I don't, like if I can, that if I can pay for it all up front, that'd be amazing. The good thing is that I don't have to pay for it all as a lump sum in the beginning. I have to pay for procedures as they happen. And the whole thing's not gonna be done until like somewhere between August and October, depending on healing timeframes and stuff like that. So I've got until then to save up the 23 grand. 
Um, so that's what like your subs, your cheers, your donations. Um, if you use any of my affiliate stuff, so like buying skins and stream readers, uh, buying bubble tea club supplies, um, humble games, like humble bundles and stuff like that. Um, uh, yes, yeah, style is makeup and, and skincare and clothing that is all like, um, like Korean style and, and Southeast Asian style. Um, so like K-beauty, K-skin, yep, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Mellow Cosmetics is my newest one, which is, uh, makeup, and it's Australian brand, which is amazing! Like, oh my god, I can't believe that. Uh, but, yeah, so all of the cash that I earn from all of that stuff, plus any potential sponsorships that I might be able to score, that kind of thing, all that money's going into my dentistry. I take out super, then I take out tax, then what's left goes into dentistry. Because I have to pay tax. And if I don't put money aside for super, um, I'm in a, you know, hit retirement age and be like, well, fuck, <laughs> I have no money. Uh, Cause Twitch doesn't pay into your super account if you're Australian. Um, and given that I'm working part-time, my super is very small. Uh, but yeah, look, it is what it is. Um, it, it's all about working smarter, not hard, like uh, working smarter, not harder, not, not more hours and stuff like that. So I'm live in December, I was live 124 hours, and I did uh, 124 and a half hours, and I did 60 hours of back end. Um, it was 104% of a, a full time workload. So if you're doing 40 hours a week, um, 7.6, uh, no, so eight, eight hours a day. If you're working eight hours every weekday, um, I essentially did an extra day. I, I worked a full day on a on a Saturday as an example of like that's that was my workload for stream specifically last month i have an app where i can track um how often i'm working and stuff which is really helpful for me to kind of actually see what i'm doing because i didn't know I, I assumed i assumed um but it's really nice to be able to see exactly what's going on but um getting stuff like uh once you're earning from twitch once you're earning a little bit from twitch it's a good idea to invest it back in if, if you have a job that you can use to pay your bills and stuff like that, it is a good idea to not spend that cash on fun shit and to invest it back in your stream. Buy yourself a subscription to a social media scheduling platform. I use Buffer for uh, Instagram, no, Twitter and Facebook. I use Buffer for Twitter and Facebook. I use Plan with two N's on the end, P-L-A-N-N -N, um, for Instagram. Um, they do Instagram pictures. It helps you like visually see what your feed's going to look like once everything's posted, which is so fucking handy. Um, and that also cross posts the images to Facebook, which is great. Uh, they also do Instagram reels, um, with Instagram. If you don't use posts, reels and stories and IGTV, then the Instagram, the, the uh, uh, Algorithm, there's the word, doesn't really like you so much. Um, I don't do IGTV, but um, I use all three, all the other three, and I've found that my engagement rate has gone up once I started using Reels properly. Uh, and I can also use Plan to cross post my Instagram Reels to TikTok, uh, which I do. So um, it, it means that I, I plan it once, like I make one caption and I upload it once, and it goes to multiple different platforms. Um, it makes it fuck tons faster to do everything. Like, it's just so goddamn good. Like, it's, it, yeah, it, I really highly recommend investing in a scheduling platform if you're serious about this. And this is the thing. You don't have to be. It is totally fine to stream for funsies. You don't have to take it full time. You don't have to be a full time content creator and pushing hard and getting sponsorships and shit like that. Like, the... <laughs> It it does it is not for everyone. It's fucking hard work. It is fucking hard work. Um, and if I'm I had grateful. oh Jay, thank you so much for the donation. Maybe enough for a chip of a two. Oh, very sweet of you. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> if I had known how hard this was when I started. I wouldn't have started. Um, but because I've stepped it up slowly over the, over the course of like five, five and a half, six years until I got to where I am now, um, because I've added things in one by one, bit by bit, um, it's been a much steadier growth. But if you're starting out and you add it all at once, fuck me. Just, just like, fuck, take it easy. Don't, don't expect yourself to be able to do everything right off the bat because it's so much. 
and, and trying to like figure out what's working. If you start everything all at once, how the fuck do you know what's working? If you start with one thing and see how that affects your numbers and then maybe tweak it a little bit and see how that affects your numbers. And once you're happy with it, then add another thing. And that's what I did. It took ages, but I got there. Um, it, do it does take time. Like time is a huge factor here. And you can't like when you make a tweak to your schedule or the game that you're playing or what you're posting on socials and all that kind of stuff, it can take months for that to actually have an effect. When I change my schedule, I give it three months before I decide whether it has worked or not. I kid you not. The three months on the lead up to the change and then the three months after to see, has my average gone up? And if it has, good, I keep it. If it hasn't, I revert. But you, it, it takes time. You've got to give it the time to actually take effect. Um, it, it's fucking and I'm impatient. I'm so impatient and I hate it, but I know that that's how it has to be. You are like Asmongold. I like your stream. Well, I'm glad you like the stream note. Um... Uh, I got an add-on. I got an ad, so I take you blocked them. I take you did. No one needs that. Sort of shit in their life unless they're into that train. Reported the way. It's very different. Totally fine. No, it's not a problem. I love a stream where the viewers interact with each other, and that is a reflection on the streamer. One hundred percent. They like your vibe attracts your tribe. If you have a community that's full of toxic fuckwits, look at the streamer. If they're allowing that kind of shit to happen in their chat, then there's probably a good reason for it. Like, it's just, it is what it is. Um, I have to finally jump! Hey, Exo, congratulations! What does bonk mean? Um, think, think someone having like a giant foam sword and then just kind of going thwap on somebody's head. That, that's bonk. That's bonk. Yep. In, for, in, I mean, that's what it is in my head at least. Others may have different definitions. Um, that's uh, Armageddon level of pink. Imagine if it was a one-hander wheel <laughs> Like, you, can you imagine the biceps and shoulders, like, on that? No. <laughs> Can't relate. <laughs> I need to get, like, all the way back into pole to be able to deal with that shit again. Like, fuck. Bonk is what warriors do. <laughs> Room for a third fear. Jason had to go, ah, okay. Perfect. Um, ooh, actually, we might be, we might be done, I think. This might be, I just saw what the time was. Fuck. Uh, no luck in Mountain Islands or box here either. I had to call it pain is bad. Not a problem at all. I hope you feel better soon. Make it on your own merits. Don't clout chase. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, there is, there is nothing wrong with, like, making friends. Did I just get the same one that you had? No, that's a one-handed fist weapon, never mind. Um, there is nothing wrong with connecting with people above your station. And I say that, like, with, like, dripping with sarcasm. Um, like, th there is nothing wrong with approaching people who are larger than you are and making that connection through through jumping into their community and stuff like there's nothing wrong at all with that nothing at all um but they're gonna be able to tell real fucking quick if you're doing it to use them um because like yeah that's it's just like you know doing it doing it for the right reasons is is a big thing there's there's nothing wrong with like climbing the ladder with assistance nothing wrong with that at all um, but like, just don't, the, the whole like people like making a friend and then like getting to their level and then like making a friend and abandoning them and getting to the next, like, no, this, this community is not large. This community is fucking tiny, especially in Australia. This community is fucking tiny. You will get a name for yourself and no one will want to associate with you. Like, <laughs> don't, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Be genuine. Be you. And if that's who you are, then you'll, look, you'll make it because people love a fucking salty fuck. So you'll be fine. <laughs> um, I have a nice stream. Thank you, Zez. Much appreciated. Uh, I hope that you have a wonderful evening. Ruin me about time someone recognizes my Ruin. <laughs> I'm so far behind. I'm 13 minutes behind on chat. Let me catch up. Okay. 
If the one through, you know where to find, you know where to find it. Uh, the bathroom. My favorite moments as a viewer are when streamers turn up in chat on other people's streams, especially when I don't know they know each other. Yeah, it's like, wait, wait, you guys like, oh my god. Yeah, mm -hmm, it's great. Uh, if you want new teeth, twit, no. Good lord, no. Um, I had a few issues with paying before to curious of Yes, absolutely. Doing other stuff. I was dunks, absolutely. Well, wow, fear, can't believe you made me wait. I know. The last one, I think. I think that's my last one, too. I'm going to catch up on chat, and that'll probably be battle time. Yeah, is there a lockdown in Australia right now? I don't think we have a lockdown, no. We have restrictions, like, you know, put a fucking mask on. Um, but, like, I don't think there are actual, like, lockdown lockdowns. At least I don't think there are any in Brisbane. I'm just not leaving the house anyway. I'm a self-imposed lockdown because people are outside and people have fucking COVID. Um, um, she a cool guild name. If you need a third of someone leaves, that's off to you. Uh, what's your social media planning regimen? Yes. What? <laughs> Stuff. Content. All the time. Content. Um, exclamation in chat, exclamation GGWP. That will be able to help you a fuckload more than I will. I, I betcha. Seriously, um, GGWP, when I went through and did all their, like, it's like a training program, right? It's, it's self-taught, it's videos, it's short form video clips to designed to like make you think about what you want to achieve and how you're going to do that. They give you some suggestions and stuff, but it's really, does it's built on like, what can I do for myself with them giving a little bit of a hint and a push and a tip and some suggestions sort of thing. Um, I went through and I watched all of their stuff some of the early things I'm like, yep, I know this, I know this, I know this, but they also gave some really good points that made me think deeper. Like I already knew what my target audience was, but let's actually define it. Let's put it written down somewhere. Like that kind of, just that quarter kind of little extra bit of thing. Um, so I would highly recommend, yeah, exclamation GGWP as in good game, well played. Um, GGWP Academy is what they call themselves and they've got a Discord server, they've got um, beginner's guides, they've launched some intermediate videos which I'm yet to watch because I have no fucking time. Uh, but I'm going to get around to that because I love what they do and they've also got a platform for like connecting with potential sponsors and getting gigs, booking gigs, um, which is great, obviously. Um, I've got something on the way at the moment that uh, I got through them. Um, I'm just waiting on delivery. So uh, it's, yeah, there's there's like, they're really good. I highly recommend them. And what you'll get there is my referral link. Um, I get ex experience points for referring you. And I think you also get experience points for being referred. Uh, and the higher your experience points, the higher up their ranking system you are and the more likely you are to get gigs and shit. So um, that's kind of how that works. So do all the training and it pushes you up the thing. Implement the training and see improvement in your socials and it'll push you up the thing. Like it's all that kind of stuff, um, but highly recommend. Um, Emote only chat will be necessary. Do we even do that though? Like, has it been done? I don't think so. Uh, how's the mat grind going? Well, we got melee today. Uh, on the emotes, yes, the time fear is going to sleep. Uh huh. I said, no, that's where people are. Exactly, exactly. Let's do this. Everything see it tomorrow. Definitely. Um,. I just did that ourselves. You did! You did. Um, but there's, because I didn't actually see it triggered. So there's your GGWP. If you are a uh, smaller streamer, or if you're not a smaller streamer, if you are a streamer who's been doing this for a while, if you're a streamer who's been doing this for six years or more, like, jump on, like, <sighs> what have you got to lose? Worst case, you already knew everything that they're telling you, everything they're teaching you, and you know that you're on the right track. Best case, you learn something new. You discover something you didn't know that you could be doing. Um, they do regular, like really regular um, Discord stages where like people can jump in and listen in or watch while they like give a presentation sort of thing. Like there's just, it's there's endless stuff that they're putting out and it's really super awesome. I highly recommend them to anyone at any point in their streaming career. Uh, if you want to actually like make something, if you want it to be more than a hobby, for shiz, like do the thing, follow the link. Um, outside also has that scary yellow thing in the sky. Indeed. Indeed. My doctor says I need to see the day star more. <laughs> Have you got like a patio or a balcony or something? Just sit out there. That's what I'd do. 
Sun is a deadly laser. Yeah. Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Uh, congratulations to Ide, Apro Z, Vio, Draz, Jason, Neke, Zem, and Dunno on all of your bonus shit. Um, we're not doing another battle. We're done. Uh, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go there. Stuff for January. Give me just a second. Um, Wednesday, if you fuckers don't turn up, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, <laughs> there's a reason for this. I, I promise I'm not just being a bitch. Um, Wednesday is Chef Squad. Chef Squad is a game that is played entirely via Twitch. Um, I have a thing that I have downloaded. Uh, it's a game. Uh, and then I launch it and it connects to my chat. And the only way for it to actually progress is for you guys to type shit in chat. So you get, you type exclamation hire me and you get hired as a chef in my kitchen. And I drag and drop people to different workstations. And on your workstation, you might have to type exclamation T-O-M to cut tomatoes or something, that kind of thing. So the only way that we can actually make these things and send them out, I can't do anything. I'm just the head chef. I'm giving directions. You guys actually have to do the typing to make the things happen. So um, this was a community goal with the channel points last month. We achieved it. So we're doing it this month. We're doing it on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. Um, but if I don't have any chefs, we'll fail. <laughs> so please, 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 for the love of all that is holy, please come. <laughs> please join. Please be in the kitchen with me. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking for someone to do the thing. Um... Uh, I think. Uh, actually. Oh, uh, no, that was. Yeah, I think we're going to go here. We're going to have some fun. Have a little bit of fun fun. Um, did she make me get vitamins? Yep, totally fair. Chef squad stream. Cremate Dom. Oh no! Is it stream hours of travel? I mean, after, of course, of course, it'll be absolute coas. For those of you who are new here, coas is an inside joke. I misspelled chaos once, and now it's a thing. So it's coas. Uh, <laughs> why don't we have coas command already? Because no one's redeemed it. Um, so we're doing that on Wednesday. Uh, Friday, we're doing Wrath Time Walking. I'm going to be trying to cycle through as many characters as I can to get those 500 badges on everyone, and I'm going to need help. I'm going to need more people in the group, so please do jump in for that. I'd love to have some of you play alongside. Uh, most of my tunes are DPS, so I'll be looking for, like, healer tank and two deeps for every every dungeon, basically. And this coming Saturday is the Marathon Stream. 5050s leveling from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Transmog on Sunday, as per usual, and wrapping around to Mount Fun Monday next monday all of these are all the the standard streams except for obviously the marathon starting at 10 a.m um everything else starts at 4 p.m australian eastern standard time if you're not on aest then you can scroll down click fiawa and then click schedule and everything converts to your time zone super convenient you don't have to think i don't have to think which is the best bit it's just there set to your time zone so you can figure out when the hell you're supposed to be here. And I love that. You can also turn on notifications here. You can jump in the Discord, turn on notifications there. You can follow me on Twitter. You can turn on notifications there because I tweet when I go live. However, I also tweet a lot. Um, you can follow me on, please follow me on Instagram. <laughs> please follow me on Instagram. I need help. I need numbers. I know it's stupid and it sucks, but honestly, social media is like, this is the next step in my career. If I want to go full time, I need the social following. So please do consider following me on Instagram and you can turn on notifications there as well. Um, firstly, clips because they're hilarious. Um, but also uh, stories. I post a story when I go live to say, hi, I'm live. Here is a link. You can click it if you like to come straight through. Um, so if you get a ping that says um, Fiamma.29 has posted a story, then you'll know I've gone live. Uh, and you can jump, so there's there's Discord, there's Twitch, there's Twitter, um, there's Instagram. That notification, the, the story also pushes through to Facebook. So if you if you prefer to follow on Facebook, you can do that as well. Uh, and TikTok. I don't post Illusion. on TikTok. What are you hiding? I don't post a live thing on TikTok. But follow me on TikTok anyway, because... Fuck. I'm an old and I need help. <laughs> Basically, I'm not a 13 year old. What the fuck am I doing on TikTok? Anyway, um, yes. 
that was a whole lot of self-plugging and I feel like I need a shower oh, now. Stop. <laughs> I now feel like I need a shower after all of that disgusting um, self-promotion because good lord I'm really bad at that still so my apologies I know it was awkward as fuck I understand I'm, I'm very sorry um, we're gonna do a raid uh, we're gonna do a raid gosh to be able to message you I love it love it Yuri um, for be a four days in a row this month uh, yeah Friday Saturday Sunday Monday let me confer with my sources no. Why is it still so loud? It's fine, I'll fix it. <laughs> so it can't be safe. Oh, you too, nurse. You oh, too. The alliance. Yes, all my links. Everything's in there. I even added Zygor. Go me. Look at me. I did the thing. Um. Uh, I should in Discord. What did someone say? I got a. Th I got a. I got a. I got a Thunder Fury. Are you proud of me? God, it cost me so much fucking gold. 13, 33, what's the difference? I am not 33, thank you very much. I'm soon to turn 32. Do not prematurely age me more than you already have. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, fuck. Let's do this before Jess threatens to unplug the router, but you can't do that because it's in here. Okay, uh, this one, Twitch, right? grab your copy paste. If you're not a sub or you don't have uh, Fiamma Hype unlocked with your channel points via the thing under the chat, both of which are totally fine. You can still copy and paste the entire raid message and uh, paste it into Keggy's channel when we get there and then delete where it says Fiamma Hype and replace it with your favorite happy, happy, celebratory emote. I'm going to see you on Wednesday uh, for Chef Squad. I'm so excited. You have no fucking idea. I am so keen. I'm so fucking excited. I cannot wait to burn the fucking house down. Thank fuck it's not my actual kitchen. <sighs> okay. I'm really excited and I'm trying to like keep it i'm going to bed soon take care of yourselves be nice to each other and i will see you on wednesday and you will cook for me and it will be wonderful all the love i guess